Hey, there we are. Everybody, welcome. Sorry about that. Um, I was turning on Pig Radio, created a new a new sound thing for us today. So uh, I wanted to make sure that we got that set up. So I forgot to, to turn it on, but we got it in, we got it set up. So sorry for about that. And uh, obviously I had a little dinner. Uh, my wife had uh, started cooking and it was going a little longer than she expected. So I apologize for starting late, but don't worry, we'll get the build done. There will be benchmarks and all that sort of stuff. We will absolutely make sure uh, that you guys get the full show and all that sort of stuff. But thank you very much. First and foremost, welcome to the first episode of December. We have conquered, we have hit Partner Plus, but now, sorry, we've done our first of three months of Partner Plus, but we are back, we are back to counting it. I got a new stack of one terabyte NVMe drives for us to give away for every 20 points that we give. So we'll give away a one terabyte NVMe drive um, and uh, at the same time, gonna get that second month. And then we have unlocked the 14900K. The 14900K, we're having a special Intel Play stream tomorrow and Intel stream tomorrow. We'll be giving away that 14900K tomorrow. So we're gonna be playing PUBG. We're gonna be playing the brand new map Condo. Uh, and then from there, we'll actually be jumping in and doing a Deep Cool CH560 white build with the 14600K. Uh, and then we'll be giving away a 14900. So that's gonna be great. Tw uh, what is it normally? I think it's 25, Blondie, whatever it is. Well, uh, whatever it normally is. Sorry, I didn't know off the top of my head, 25. So every 25 points, we'll give away a one terabyte NVMe drive. Uh, if we get to, if we get, if we get past 125, then we'll give away a two terabyte drive and a huge shout out to them. Igor dropping a tier three subs, that's six points right there. We got GSX Therapy dropping tier one. We got Igor dropping his two just gifted subs. Fifth Lament dropping a tier one. So we're already at six, seven, eight, uh, six, seven, eight, points already and then if you wanted to upgrade those to tier threes then we're good to go guys we got 398 of 350 points last month and uh we're hoping to knock it out again remember if we do it this month we'll give away a 7950 x3d that is a gift from amd and then if we do it three months in a row uh nvidia has graciously given an rtx 4080 so we'll be giving away a 4080 which will be cool if we can't be here tomorrow can we still win no you have to be present unfortunately um so uh that's what we'll need so thank you very much there's another one there's nine points right there so if you you can tune in uh, make sure you try try and pop in it'll be near the end of the stream that we'll be giving that away so and by the way we did find the hundred dollar sub who uh, gifted the sub so thank you very much for that as well um, you know I, I sorry the hundred dollar the hundred hundred dollar tip um, so thank you for that um, and then uh, Blondie asked about the winner we do have the winner we I, I said who it was um, and I'm, tr I'm trying to find what the name is once I get it, I will send it out. That person is already, they, actually the, 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 the system's already been shipped. So it's already, that person, if you, do, you, if you wanna know who won, that person already knows, has already claimed the prize and it's already on their way. So uh, that, is, <laughs> that is kind of it for that one. We were pretty quick because we we're trying to turn around all the, the oh, nice, of course you did, uh, Smoke. Uh, that we tried to turn around a lot of builds. We were so far behind on, sh on shipping. I have a serious question for you and you can answer it in Discord. You asked about my take. Uh, yeah, I saw that. I don't actually have one. Because here's the deal on, here's the deal. Like I know that Gamers Nexus did a bunch of research and all this other stuff. I will tell you the stuff that actually goes on and having been through a lawsuit and seeing these on the other side, there is so much that we don't know that is going to be exchanged between lawyers that it is hard to have an opinion. And ultimately, until that stuff comes out in court, a lot like um, what happened with the Activision Blizzard thing, there's not really a whole lot you can. Uh, there's not really a whole lot um, you can you can uh, you can glean until the, the 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 lawyers start doing their thing. So we'll have to see how what goes from there. Uh, what you can win today is you, there may be all sorts of prizes, so it goes in there. Are you looking forward to CES? Absolutely. Uh, just got, you know, we got a couple things that have already kind of started happening, uh, some events that are going on, and then, guys, it is going to be a crazy week. So, I mean, a crazy couple of months. Lumians, thank you very much for the Tier 1 sub. There's another point right there, and you are amazing. Um, so, uh, this week, I literally, we stream today, and then we have PUBG, and we stream till 5.30 tomorrow. So, at 5, like at 5 o'clock, no matter what, we're done. The stream starts early tomorrow. So starts at one o'clock. We're gonna play PUBG till 2.30 and then at 
2.30, we'll start in the stream, then we'll build. I have to be done before five because I literally have to leave, grab my bags, and then go jump on a plane to fly to LA where we're going to do the Game Awards. So I'm there for the Game Awards. Then I get back on a plane on Friday morning to fly back here for the last, the last in-studio live show of the Intel Morning Show. Uh, and then uh, I basically get the weekend. Next week, we got two streams, which will be pretty awesome. We're doing, a, we're doing a Lee and Lee stream, and then we're also gonna be doing, there's one other one, I forgot what it was. It's on the schedule. Uh, and then I fly, I leave on Thursday to go to DreamHacks. We're going to, I leave on Wednesday to go to DreamHack Atlanta, where we have a bunch of people joining us there. I'm in Atlanta uh, that, during that time. We got back, we have a full, like we, we're gonna do like five streams that week. We have Starfield giveaway, a Be Quiet uh, Nightmare Before Christmas giveaway. Uh, we have a, uh, we have some really other epic, um, just cases and things. We have an all a, a pro art, um, we're checking out a new pro art case. Uh, we're gonna be, so there's a bunch of builds, a couple commission builds, all gonna happen that week. And then we basically get to Christmas. Uh, Christmas, there will be one stream, only one stream the Christmas week. And then afterwards, that is that is gonna be it. We have to hit Partner Plus by that one stream because then I have to go to Washington, D.C. Uh, and I'm in Washington, D.C. until the 31st. Um, I might do a game stream on December 31st just for, we'll see where people are, if people wanna do anything for a New Year's Eve stream. Uh, and then we have, uh, we come back, we stream for a normal week. Then we have CES. CES, I then get done with CES, and then I go to Taipei, and then I'm, when I'm back from Taipei. So we only have like three weeks in January to basically do that as well. So it is a crazy, crazy time. Yeah, we're doing Nightmare Before Christmas. So. Uh, if you, so if you pay the channel, you still have to be here, not fair. So Jay Wax, uh, the thing that you don't have to be here for is you don't have to be here for the sub only PC giveaway. Yes, that one you have, the, no, Jay, the thing is, is that we can't, there are certain, we have the sub only giveaways that you have to be here for, but the 14900K, that was unlocked for everybody. And so if you, the only way for us to do that is to actually do the, the drawing here. But the PC, the sub only PC, you do not need to be present for that, yeah. So, yeah, we're gonna be doing a Nightmare Before Christmas build um, for that month, yes. I had 60 case, it came out first, so I was gonna get it, and now the screen is 45, then they decided to sign the case with the screen in. Well, the other thing too is, Ryan, the Height Y70 is bigger than the Height Y60. Um, the Height Y70, the Height Y60 wasn't really prepared for what was the bigger GPUs. So yeah, that's that's the thing. So yeah, so it, we're, we're, we try to do a mixture of between drawn live and drawn offline, so yeah. So yeah, I hope you post case spoilers on the Discord. Jay Wax, it's a live stream, dude. It's it's a live it's a live giveaway. So that's the thing. It's unlocked by everybody, and then people who show up basically get to enter to win. So it's like the thing is, is that we if I do that, then the people who aren't sub don't get a chance to win. Yeah, you have to enter in live chat. That's how those work. The ones the only one that we have that's the other way is the sub only one, the sub only PC, dude. You, if you, you do not need to be online to win this. That only goes to subs. Everything else is an unlock. So there's no other way to do it. So yeah. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> so that is that. <clears throat> We are we are building it. We're we're uh, so the foot team over at Blue Horse is basically doing it, um, is doing it uh, for uh, is is um, modifying a 800DX build. So yeah, it should be cool. Eternal Rage. Thank you very much for the tier one. And there's another point right there. So anyway, that is it. But let's talk about today. Let's talk about what we're doing today, right? Because everybody's excited. We're here for a, we're here for a fun build. If I'm not mistaken, who's ready to do a good PC build today? Because, uh, so two builds that are happening this week, both of them by Intel, because we've done a ton of AMD builds and we've done an awesome all AMD deal build. So I like to, I like to uh, kind, of, uh, kind of mix things up. And the other thing too is this case. So this is the AP Annex C1. Uh, and this case is actually changes color based on heat. So um, the other reason that I had to choose this is that I needed an Intel CPU or a CPU that generates heat. And the problem is, is that if I use like a 7800X3D or something like that, then we don't actually get to see the heat changing technology. So this one is gonna be, uh, this one's gonna be a little bit, we needed something that could actually do some work. So we, we chose a, 
uh, Intel Core i7 14700K. It's a workhorse CPU. It's absolutely a phenomenal CPU. It's definitely the best of the new 14th gen stacked. Um, and so we're gonna be doing that and that's what we're gonna do for the JWAX. Thank you very much for the sub. Another point that we're getting right there. So it should be cool. Cinebench colors, exactly. So it's gonna be a color changing case. We're gonna see it turns from purple to blue and that should be a lot of fun. Let's talk about the parts we're putting. Oh, let me tell you about all the other giveaways because people are probably curious. So first and foremost, 250 likes gets a $25 new a gift card. All you got to do is hit that thumbs up button at youtube.com slash Roby tech live. The other one is, is that if you, uh, if we get a level five hype train, which we got to be getting pretty close to actually unlocking a hype train. If we get a level five hype train, we'll give away another uh, $25 new a gift card. If we get to level 10, we just give away a hundred dollars cash. Just right there. Anybody who does it, we basically give away a hundred bucks, whether you want it in Amazon, whatever, PayPal, you get it. We get level 10, we give away a hundred bucks. Uh, if Replica Gaming dropping five gifted subs, we got Riddick dropping five gifted subs and we need one more to start that hype train thing. Uh, the other thing too that we also have is that uh, if we get 50 subs, we give away a $50 new a gift card, 100 subs, $100 new a gift card, 150 subs, $150 new a gift card, and so on and so forth. It starts getting more and more crazy as we get higher up. And there it is, Blade Advice unlocking the hype train. So again, those are the giveaways that happen normally. Somebody's like, what else do you, what, uh, what else do you get? That's all the stuff that you get. Faith makes a way. Thank you very much for the 27 months and the other tier one getting us toward that, uh, towards the, um, Partner Plus. And remember guys, every 25 points, we'll also give away a one terabyte NVMe drive as well. So that is all the stuff that we got going on. Should be a lot of fun. Um, and today we're gonna build inside of this case. So we are at level three. Let's get to level five. But while we're waiting and you guys are trying to build all the hype and make all the giveaways happen, let's, uh, let's talk about the parts that we're putting inside of this PC. First and foremost, the first thing we're doing, uh, so inside of this PC, uh, we're using the Intel Core i7-14700K. For the motherboard, we're using the MSI Z790 Tomahawk Max. This is their new, their new version of the Tomahawk. Uh, for the graphics card, the MSI Gaming X Trio NVIDIA RTX 4080. For a terabyte, we've got two two terabyte uh, SN850Xs. For our RAM, G-Skill Trident Z, uh, 32 gigs at 6,000 megahertz. We're using the case as the APNX Creator C1. For the cooler, the Cooler Master Liquid 360 Atmos. So they're brand new AIO, which we'll get to see what the cooling capacity is for that. And then finally for our power supply, the Cooler Master V850i Gold. And then we've also got some purple cable extensions from Asia Horse, as well as an easy DIY black extension as well. John the Papaya, thank you for the gifted sub. And then also you, your gun, Oyunchu, Oyunku, uh, thank you for the prime sub as well. So there we go, guys. We are almost, to, we are just now at level four. We gotta fill up the next two to unlock the next one, guys. Let's make it happen. <clears throat> On modern processors, we might see gaming temps in the 60s and 70s, so that's all it takes. I don't know, oh, uh, so org, I don't actually know what it takes. I have no idea. I don't, I don't know what or how easily it changes temp, so I wanted to make sure we had something for sure that was gonna get, like when we were doing Cinebench, if, if we see gaming temps and it changes, then yeah, the 7800X 3D would probably be fine. I just don't know what the temps change at. So I didn't read a whole lot into it, I just knew it was gonna do that and went for kind of worst case. Um, so yeah, that's, that, that was kind of the plan. Um, trying to see what else, guys, we are almost to, let's finish it out, we got two more levels. Uh, three minutes and 30 seconds. But while we're doing that, I can start the uh, the build process. Um, Igor dropping five more gifted subs, getting us there. Thank you very much, Igor. We do not want to start any of the permission, any of the predictions until we um, finish the hype train, um, Blondie. Norex, recent driving at tier one. There is another one point. We gotta be, what are our, what, what, how many points are we at right now, Blondie? I'm not sure. <clears throat> Would you ever do budget builds? We do budget builds actually quite a bit. Um, so we have a tendency to do $1,000 builds and all that sort of stuff. We've done a $1,000 AMD build, a $1,000 in, uh, Intel Nvidia build. Um, so yeah, we've done those because we like to. So like I, and some, sometimes depending on the case, uh, there are cases that are just really kind of focused at budget builds, so we have a tendency to do them. Okay, so we're 10 away. Uh, we're 10 away from unlocking um, the first one terabyte NVMe drive, guys. 10 points. So that could be one tier three sub and then like one tier two sub and then we basically unlock that. 
Uh, Max Bunny, you know, that's kind of on my list. I got to figure, I want to do some of those fun ones too. But the next one that's on our, the next more crazy build is we have the Nightmare Before Christmas and then we've got a full custom water cooled build too. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, budget can mean a lot of things to a bunch of people, but $1,000 is kind of where most people think of as, as budget. You know what I mean? That's like kind of like the safer spot to consider budget. Okay, two minutes left. We need one more, one more to, hit to, the, to get to level five and to start filling that out. Okay, so here is this beautiful motherboard. I love, I love the refresh with their, uh, with their bright yellow paint and all that sort of stuff. So there it is right there. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I mean, yes, the, the economy is definitely uh, bringing the cost of what budget means down. Guys, one sub, let's get one sub and get that level five unlocked. Um, and somebody could draw, you know, maybe a tier two, tier three, just helping us get there. John the Papaya getting one more, taking us to that next tier. We still need 10 points to unlock that first giveaway, uh, the first NVMe giveaway. I want to get that away as soon as possible. Yeah, mid-tier is, yeah, mid-tier is 1,500 to 2,000, I'd say. I'd say even 1,500 to 2,500. And then highest is like 2,500 and above. So. For sure. Okay, guys, we just got to finish out this last one. We're good. This is the last one we got to do. Fill out this one, and then we basically unlock a $25 new A gift card. And then if we could do that and get the last 10 points, then we'll also give away an NVMe drive. Okay, so there's that. Our 14700K is now in there. The peel glare, don't worry, I'll peel it. Yeah, it's funny, because you can do like really like great builds um, at 22 and $2,500. You can do really good builds for like 1500 bucks. For real, I mean really. I'm not like trying to josh you. Okay. So let's get our NVMEs in. Three minutes guys, let's see if we can finish it out. We're close. I want us to unlock that $25 new gift card. Oh yeah, let's pull, let's pull this off so we don't trigger people. There we go. Now you're not triggering anymore. Actually, I don't even think this needs a thing. You're okay, Easy Optimus. <clears throat> Honestly, I mean, PC part picker is okay. YouTube is usually the best. There's lots of beginner guide bits uh, on the interwebs, right, that can help with that stuff. Or honestly, Discord would be another place to ask those questions, Mihoy. John the Papaya dropping another, another little bit of bits there. This is like stuck, stuck on this. Is like, they're like, please don't, oh, I guess this, they want this to keep on there. Another 100 bits. Guys, we're close. Let's do it. DMAT dropping two gifted subs. John dropping five more. Can we get one person to drop a tier three? Can we get one person to drop a tier three and then that'll just get us so close to that 25. That's 25 points. Mihoy, that's what our that's what our community's for, man. Love doing stuff with like that. Yeah, I know, I, I, Org, Org just chimes in when he does. I know he's there. Okay, here we go, flipping this around. So we got two two terabyte NVMEs. One minute, 44 seconds. Who can step up and help with that partner plus thing? We're already one month in. Just need to do it one more time. And then you remember, you guys could unlock a giveaway right away. This thing is being not kind to me right now. There it goes. It's like, wow, that was like problematic in a not usual way. Oh yeah. Okay. 
Oh, oh yeah, I peeled it, okay. There we go. Okay, there's that one. I've been good, Supra, how are you, man? Forty seconds, guys. Let's get it finished. We can do it. We're so close now. It's literally just that little bit. I'm glad, dude. Twenty seconds. Come on, guys. Let's not. We're. You guys are really close to a twenty-five dollar new gift card. Riddick dropping five, taking it to a hundred. And there it is. Okay, so Riddick got it, so he comes in clutch. Riddick's always like the community savior there. And we're eight subs away from a $50, but we unlocked the $25 at least. Does using the top end dot, so no, um, so it can, I would say that, so there was some concern that if you do it for on the Z790, that it'll actually split the lane for the X16. I will say if there's only two M.2s, it does not do that. Uh, that's what I was told from, uh, from MSI and I was told that from ASUS. If you wanted to be safe, you could do the other one too, but the, other, the main reason you want to do this is actually, uh, the, this actually uses the lanes directly from the, uh, from the um, CPU, so. What's up? Kelt, how are you? Okay, guys, we got level six. So there we go. So we've unlocked the $25. Hey, let's go ahead and do uh, Ord. What do you think the clicks are gonna be today? Any, any, any thoughts? It's G-Skill. I don't know if he's... Well, those tend to stick around 96, so he's I'm going... not really gonna overshoot on that one. Okay, 96. No, we already we already put it in, Blondie. It's already it's we've already put in the thing, so it's no VRM today. So 96. Let's go RAM. 96 guys. Yes, Maiden is right. And if you look, so in the well, a lot of them don't have manuals anymore. This one does not this one has a regular regulatory you got it yeah you got to look in online so yeah if you look online it'll tell you b mock resubscribing with tier three there's six so we're like we're like four points away from getting our first nvme giveaway let's go there we go what's up b mock how are you dude i'm doing well how about you Good. I'm getting excited for Atlanta. Yeah, for sure. Okay, got that done. The RAM prediction's up, guys. I'm going to look online. Z790, Tomahawk. Max, we'll see if it you bifurcates. Looking for? Just make sure my thing doesn't bifurcate if I use the top, gen, the top slot. You. Yeah, he's gonna look. Okay, if I need to switch it, I will, because we're waiting for the clicks anyway. So we'll let you know. We're gonna we're gonna find out here pretty quick. Because I asked about a specific board, and this one might be loud. I was talking about a godlike, and I know that one doesn't do it. Do, 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 do. PCIe E1 slot. Will be Gen 5 times 8 when installed with a M M21 slot, yes. Okay, so it does on it. Okay. Okay, so it does bifurcate. And it's and it's and if it's and if it's even if it's Gen 4, because that was the thing they were saying is that it if it's not. If it's not Gen 5, it shouldn't do that. That's what I was told by a couple of motherboard manufacturers, but it's saying that any M.2 is put in there? They need to specify that because if the GPU is only Gen 4 and the NVMe is Gen 4 and it's fine, say it, they don't. 
That's the problem. It just says, it just says that, it just says that if it's in there. Basically, yes. Okay. Because theoretically, you could run a 4090 at Gen 4 times 16 still, and it'd be perfectly fine, but if they're not running at 4 times 16 still, it could be a problem. Okay. Hold on one sec, guys. So another reason I actually prefer uh, Azrock's manuals, they actually show all the lane diagrams. Yeah, I like that too. Oh, they got one on the um, the Tomahawk Max at the bottom. Yeah, it's supposed to work with Gen 4, but does it show? So I'm just going to take it out. We'll just be safe. Not a big deal. Oh my gosh, it doesn't come out. Wow, this is like stuck in there, guys. There we go. Yeah, so basically, the way the diagram shows it is there's two sets of 5.0 time eight lanes going to the GPU, and one of those shares with the M21. So, so there's a it, muck switch. So if you put anything there, it automatically it switches should, off. It should switch it off. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just turn it. We'll just do this. We're going to, by the way, guys, we are going to have JJ from Asus on the show. So you guys can ask these kind of questions. So I told him, he, so we're going to actually have this stuff and why they did that and stuff like that. So uh, I'm trying to get that scheduled. So we'll have him pretty regularly. I'm trying to have him on the show once a month um as like a special like as a special episode he's gonna also talk about the new stuff that asus is doing too so but i thought that would be a fun episode jj's good people It says right above that, it says PCA will be Gen 5 by 8 while in sub. But isn't a 5 by 8 the same as a 4 by 16? Oh man, this stuff is so exciting. So confusing sometimes, even for people who build PCs all the time, guys. So you guys want to understand confusing? This is what we do. You're welcome, Chasing. And it's, it's, it's not, understand, this is a Gen 5 thing, so yeah. Yeah, so that's that's what I understand, Org. But uh, that's what that's what he said. So that's the thing is like, yes, it went down to five by eight, which was the same amount of bandwidth as a four by sixteen. Which I mean, on a forty seventy Ti, we probably wouldn't have had any problems whatsoever. So it's fun, guys. Welcome to new tech. New tech is is this RGB RAM? Did I not choose? Is this is this not RGB? Looks not RGB to me. What are we doing, guys? We're not gonna not put RGB RAM in this. That's that makes no sense. Who was it, Org? Because I'd like to talk to him. I we can always I can always test it too. We'll get the sound meter. Don't worry. We just chose the wrong RAM. Let me go get the right RAM. I have lots of RAM. Well, it's technically this, it should do the same thing, right? If you're doing, if you're doing, cause it's the top slot is gen five, it would do the same thing, right? Or does, does it have more lanes? Gen five lanes for AMD. I don't know if you know that B mock. I don't, I don't. I honestly don't know why they split it because uh, Intel CPUs have 20, 20 lanes available, so they should be able to do 16 and 4. Yeah, I know. So that would be a good, good question for JJ. Yeah, we'll have to ask JJ, guys. 
But AMD has up to 24 available if you do a, the X670 e boards. Um, yeah, but most people do so B650. They have some boards that can do two Gen 5 uh, NVMEs. Yes. No, but, but most of their boards don't bifurcate, which is weird why Intel does it. It doesn't make any sense. AMD doesn't, for the well, most part. We're all going to find out here and next with Alder Lake. It's all going to be different anyway. Intel's, Intel's got some stuff that they need to... We're about to hit like a new, new round with them. You know what I mean? Okay, here we... I think this is the right RAM now. I just put it out like pancakes, guys. It's funny because I had a really good conversation with AMD today. I was on the, I had my phone call with them today. And the thing is, is like everybody loves competition, right? Like even AMD, even AMD in some ways is rooting for Intel because AMD doesn't want to be like Intel. And Intel now is to the point where they don't want to be like old Intel. And so competition is good. Let me grab the, the, the click. So I just want them all to do well because that means that people just have choice and choice means better competition, right? And more cool, more cool tech and everything else. They're not gonna run out of lakes. They can just go to Minnesota, dude. They can just go to Minnesota. It's got a 10,000 lakes. Hey, right, here we go, guys. Checking our clicks, 96 according to org. Ooh, that was 93. That did not sound all that clicky. Ninety-eight. Okay, org. We saved it. We saved it. Ninety-eight. Woohoo! Yeah, there. it's a little hard to tell. You could pull up a ninety-four, or ninety-six. Ninety-eight is pretty good though. Yeah, ninety-eight is good. My, uh, I found out that the the loudest scream in recorded history is like a hundred and. 25 decibels and it's by a teacher like according to the guinness world book of records hey thank you very much uh el genericos thank you for the tier one sub and subscribing for six months man hey thanks malik i love you too so all right here we go guys so there is everything the only thing we don't have in here right now is we don't have the aio section so let's uh let's get our aio out here Justin Rovey has a show, and on, on his show, show he builds, builds PCs. PCs. With the dad joke here and a zip tie there, RGB, RGB, and Bundy Bikiki. Justin Rovey has a show. AIAIO, guys, we haven't got to do an AIO, and we we've missed it. So it's good that it's like coming back finally. Thanks, Org. I appreciate it. We finally have the info, and uh, here we go, guys. We're uh, we're uh, we're gonna we're gonna finally use an AIO today. So there it comes, and then Falcon wants dad jokes too. What's up, Najia? How are you? Okay. Now this one, the whole thing is already like pre-installed, so it's actually pretty straightforward. I also like when you look at their box here. And I, if you guys watch that massive Cooler Master stream, so they've actually got everything just ready to go in nice, simple boxes. So we just grab the Intel socket section. And there's our LGA 1700, two Intel brackets, four bracket screws, and a partridge in a pear tree. There we go, guys, all the stuff that we need. Oh, I don't need this right now and this right now. I just need the bracket bits. Yeah, 129 decibels. Yeah, see, there it is right there. Thank you, Justin. Uh, Superman, that is a... here. Let, let, okay, guys, it's, it's a little bit of a rant time. And let me tell you something, Falcon Northwest Celt, I'm very grateful for you. Let me just, let me just add this right now. So... Here's here. Let, let's just just play along with me because this this frustrated me. Rooster, thank you very much for the the sub, the prime sub. This frustrated me. So here's what happened. Grand Theft Auto 6. Everybody thought the trailer was gonna drop. Luck, you know, unfortunately it leaked, which sucks, by the way. And if you're one of the people who helps leak trailers, I hate you. That's not nice. It's not. 
there's a lot of work that goes into when things get announced and all the social plans and everything like that. So it sucks when something like that actually happens, but that's not what I'm talking about. So anyway, GTA 6, the trailer comes out and everybody's like, dude, awesome, this is great. And then every PC company, I mean every PC company, minus a few was like, now you have a reason to go get a new PC. When you looked at Rockstar's announcement, which, which they should have done, they did not say it was coming to PC in 2025. And so, uh, and so the thing was is that you now have all these PC companies that are like, we, you know, GTA, GTA 5 took two years to come to PC. So to sit there and say that there is, there is, there's a reason to buy a PC, that is not a reason. Like, I felt like it just like, I felt like that was like, it's like, don't do that because like, you're, you're like, the, the game's not even coming out. Like it might be 2028. Um, so it's just like, it was, I was frustrated. And then like, you know, there's a couple companies that were like saying, hey, check out this cool GTA 6 design. And like, I posted a couple funny memes. I think NZXT posted a funny meme, even though they are one of the companies that said, hey, now's the reason to buy a PC. And then they realized that it's not coming to PC. So they kind of walked that back. But um, I posted like what GPUs will be like, which is like the 4080. And then what GPUs will be like when GTA 7, GTA 6 comes out, which is like an 8090. Um, and so point being guys is like, if you're buying a PC for Grand Theft Auto right now, now is not the time to buy a PC because we have no idea uh, about when that is actually coming out. So I just saying, PC folks, set, set expectations and I would say set realistic expectations. It's gonna be a while before we're playing Grand Theft Auto on a high-end gaming PC. So, uh, you know, and but if you wanna go buy a Falcon Northwest in preparation, then that I completely am okay with, but I'm just saying. <clears throat> Yeah, dude, and, and the thing is, if they're saying PC's not in 2025, I'm guessing console is holiday 2025, not spring 2025, and PC is, I mean, hopefully it's GTA 5, and it's coming out November of 2026, but dude, that's three years away. Yeah, it's like, that's crazy. Okay, so here's the deal, and this is the other thing too. So PC Mag, and this is this is the game developer in me. So PC Mag released an article which I completely disagree with, um, and and I love that I do. And PC Mag, uh, sorry, PC yeah, PC Mag and PC World do good work. So this is not a hate thing, but the thing is, I just feel like it's you're not educated, like you don't know. And so the thing was is that um, they said that GTA 6 shouldn't be harder to get to PC. I will tell you, releasing games on PC is far harder than it is on console. And the reason is, is it's just literally the sheer amount of configurations and the config testing that has to go into testing for PC, as well as drive, drivers and everything else, right? So even though games are developed on PCs, they are not, that does not necessarily mean that they are PC ready. And so the amount of work that a PC port actually takes is way harder than it is on a console. And understand, the thing is, given that PlayStation 5 and Xbox, especially next-gen consoles, have actually very identical hardware. Both of them are AMD CPUs, both of them are AMD GPUs, both of them use direct storage or have direct storage for uh, shared memory architecture, that all in all, releasing something on those two consoles, the fact that they skipped last gen, makes the console release actually very, very easy. So when somebody says it's not easy, that, that sounds like somebody who's never developed a game before. As somebody who's developed and released, you know, AAA titles over 20 years, PC ports are not easy and they do take a lot of work. So when somebody says like it should be, that's actually not true. And if you go make games, you would know that it's, it's just not as straightforward as people think. So yeah, please don't, yeah, nobody should be suing, doing anything. Now in terms of their motivations and whether they're double dipping and stuff like that, I have, I'm not gonna have any feedback on that. That is between, that is a Rockstar thing. I don't know, you know what I mean? Please don't send bad vibes to Rockstar or whatever it was. Rumor is that game cost $2 billion to make and it looks incredible. They make great games because they release them on time, you know, they release them when they're done, just like Boulder's Gate was kind of the same thing. So I just wanna make sure that we're, I just wanna do a little bit of education to say, hey, there's some things that people may not understand. And so spouting off that you may know why or, or, or come up with like fantasies as to why this is happening just doesn't do anybody any good.
Uh, no, you, you know the 12 days of Christmas, five of the six days, they give you the bird. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, Roby, you know, uh, so you could do, I mean, that was Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate did exactly that. Baldur's Gate developed for PC first and then released a console afterwards. But guys, no offense, but PC is not going to sell anywhere near as much as what it will on console. Console is a much more ripe and, I mean, a ripe, like, instantaneous PC takes longer to, do, to go and, and to generate. And honestly, the other thing too is console helps find a lot of bugs. PC gamers are a lot more picky. So there's actually a lot about PC. There's a lot that we actually benefit as PC gamers from the game coming out on console first. So that, I'm just saying, we're like, you know, PC is like a fine wine. It takes a little while to age and get there. It, Araxis it is, but it's made on a very specific PC, very high-end PCs. It's not made, uh, it's not made on PCs that are running low-end hardware. So it's, it's made on a PC, but not in the way that would make it good to release on PC. Yeah. Yeah. And you're right, Maiden, Baldur's Gate has a PC, a, a very, a very, um, what's the word, rich PC history. Okay. So we've gotten the motherboard done in all that amount of time. <clears throat> And uh, so let's, let's go ahead and we're gonna, I don't think, I think I've, yeah, we've already tested this, so I need to put AI, I need to put stuff on here. It has, it is always released on console first. It, it's, they've never done it the other way. Okay, zip tie, guys, gotta pause this for a second. And I'm trying not to be hateful, notice how I'm saying this, I'm trying to have a tone of information and giving you thing, but guys, get ready for a new song. It's the most zip timey time of the stream. Though your clippers are out, don't trim hairs from your snout, cause it makes Blondie scream. <laughs> it's the most zip timey time of the stream. <laughs> There we go, guys. Thank you very much to, uh, it's time for zip tie prediction, but thank you very much to um, uh, Pig Radio for uh, doing that one for us. I really, really appreciate it. So. <laughs> I mean, I... <laughs> I will probably, I will more than likely, just like I did for GTA 6, just like I did for Red Dead Redemption 2, I am part of the problem because I will buy it on both. Let's just, let's just be honest. There's no way I'm not going to play GTA 6 when it comes out. And I'm pretty sure Rockstar knows that. So, but is that why they're doing it? I don't know. I am part of the double dipping club, Araxness, I know. And it will look so much better on my Falcon Northwest GTA 6 Special Edition PC that I will be using. Right? Right, Kel? Right? <laughs> Truth, there it is right there. We'll talk about it in 2027. <laughs> we got lots of time to plan it, Kel. Or 2028. He's like, I don't mind. The aliens will have come by then. <laughs> oh man. You know what, I did, you know, it's funny, Bear, I had, I know you need to, I do, I, Falcon, you're right, I need to buy it right now. I should get it, because it's, it's, you know, this is what you guys are telling me. Um, uh, yeah, start saving up for a Falcon PC for GTA 6. Um, it, you're right. I, it, the one thing is, is that I saw the graphics, and I don't know if anybody else saw this. I saw the graphics on GTA 6, and I was like, dude, how is that going to run on an Xbox or a PlayStation 5? I, like, I really was like, I'm like, how is it going to do that? I mean, FSR is good and, and all that stuff, but dude, it ain't that good. And I don't know. Did anybody else think that? Yeah, like I thought the same thing. I just, like, I was like, I was wondering, like, if we're gonna, how many of those, like, here's what they promised, you know, it's like Instagram versus reality posts. So, I don't know, that's my question. 
Because I don't, I don't know if it's gonna look. I just, I just don't see it. I mean, it's just like even now when you look at something like Cyberpunk, Cosmic Jordan, one month tier one. How many points are we at, guys? So, it yes, but it was. I know it was cinematic stuff, but there was stuff like the, like the city and the pans and stuff like that, or that top-down view of the uh, uh, over the water. So yeah. We're at 19 points, guys. We're six points away. Okay, guys, so now we can get to this beautiful case. Okay, so here we are. Guys, here is, this is the APNX Creator C1. So it, it is a color changing case. Couple things, check this out. It's got like a rounded, rounded edge here in the back. Isn't that kind of cool? So it's like rounded, it's not all square around it. So we're gonna start getting this kind of stripped down. I'm actually pretty excited to see how this build comes out. By the way, apparently the new Godzilla movie is really good. I've been watching, who's been watching Monarch, anybody? Yeah, the color's really nice. And it changes color too, apparently. Dude, oh man, I just thought of something, guys. What if, guys, conspiracy theory time. Okay, conspiracy theory time. We're gonna, we're gonna be a little bit conspiracy theorist here. What if, what if next gen consoles are 2026 and they're triple dipping? So they're gonna release the current gen knowing that next gen is 2026 and then they'll get to sell it again with the next gen port along with then the PC port even afterwards. Could that be, could that be what's happening? That it literally is like, that's their whole, like that's, that's their whole plan. I should call Phil. I mean, dude, it, it, it makes a certain amount of sense, right? And then the other thing too, is by showing the graphics they did, they know that more than likely like, a, you know, an Xbox next and a PlayStation six or whatever it was, like will be the equivalent of like probably a 40, 90, maybe a 5090 by then i doubt it but you know we'll see so hmm i know they talked about like it was in the activision blizzard it was in the activision blizzard stuff but the thing is is like here's the deal even if it was 2028 even if it was no i think it's i think it's yeah i don't know that's 2028 seems that'd be a pretty far out but yeah i don't know maybe maybe if the new consoles were honestly going to be 2026, the dev kits would already be out under NDA. No, no, we did. So it'd be a year before. It'd be a year before. I, I, I've, I've launched three consoles, or so we'd have we'd have the P, the dev the first dev kits you'd be doing you'd be basing on PC specs to about a year and a half out, and then a year out is when you'd start to get your dev kits, and it actually may be closer to nine months out when you first get your new console dev kit. Um, so it's, they're pretty, they're way more tight than people think. Um, but you would have hard, you, for the game develop like game developers who are developing for that would have an idea. Yes, that part would be super NDA'd or you are right on that. But we wouldn't have dev kits out quite yet. Okay guys, now I gotta figure out, I'm gonna have to look at the manual because I don't know how to take this panel off. Because I'm too busy talking. Okay, so this, there's a little screw here. Let's take this off. Uh, honestly, because I did 20 years and it was time to do something new. And this was a very cool thing to get to do something new. I mean, how, how neat is it to go from basically making video games for 20 years to then going and getting to build and play with PCs and tech and toys for, you know, another 20 years. I mean, that doesn't sound like a bad life, you know? So I kind of felt like, it's not like I hadn't had a very successful career at Microsoft. You know, I, I ended Lyft shop shipping one of the biggest titles Microsoft ever shipped, which was Halo Infinite. And it wasn't as good as I'd hoped, but yeah, still. 
B32, Brett, Bad Brad, thank you for the sub. I lost my, oh, there's two things down here, wow. Wow, we're gonna have way more cable management on this than I thought, guys. I mean, GTA, I mean, I, I think even Kelt would agree, GTA 6, when it comes out on PC, will sell hardware. Like, people will absolutely buy hardware to play that game. People will be like, I'm buying a PC to run GTA 6 at ultra settings. Okay, so we got that off, so we took that off. Yeah, but that's not as hard. So that's where you can put hard drives, hard drives. Okay, so this top comes off here. Okay, so we'll pull this off. Okay, there's that. Ooh, that's a pretty, look at that. That's a pretty panel, guys. That's a pretty panel. Okay, there, that comes off. Does the side not come off? That's the question. This never shows the front off. Oh, so it lifts up. Oh, interesting. It lifts up, guys. Here we go. Okay, so it doesn't it doesn't work like it normally does. Thank you very much for saying that. Well, see, it just pops right up. See, look at that. Boom, and there it goes. That's kind of cool. Okay, there we go. So there's all our panels. We've got a pretty nice, reminds me a little bit of the one we saw on MSI. And then this thing also has ribbon cable for the Gen 3, and we have an integrated sag bracket, so we won't have to use that one that comes with the, um, the MSI. Okay, so there it is, there's it stripped. We're gonna use the stock fans here. It also, for not bad as well, it also has at the top uh, integrated uh, uh, RGB and fan hub, which makes that easy. So yeah, and then we have all our stuff. So there's actually quite a bit to love about this case. And then I'm pretty sure, does the shroud come off? I can't tell. I don't know if you can do bottom fan mounts. Oh, let's look in the manual, see if you can fan mount fans at the bottom. Oh, I'm looking, I was like looking at the manual upside down. Good job, Roby. So you can do fans in the back if you wanted to, interesting. You can take out the shroud. And you can mount side fans, so you can do, so you could take out the, you can take out the bottom shroud here and then take this out and actually mount 320s in the side. So like the uh, Corsair 5000D. But not really anything, not really anything for, uh, not, not, you can't do fans on the, uh, on the PSU shroud that I can see. Okay, cool, so pretty cool. So yeah, like I said, you can remove this and remove this and then actually have three fans on the side here. We're gonna leave it in stock configuration, should be fine. We're gonna do intake, exhaust, we have 140 millimeter, 140 millimeter, and then we'll do a 360 millimeter up top. So it should be pretty straightforward. Just gonna run all this stuff out and get it going from here. Um, I'd say the one that we've been most impressed with, uh, the Ryujin. You have a choice between the Ryujin and, that has a, the Ryujin and the um, H150 are the two ones I like, especially the uh, the IQ Link one um, are the ones that I like the readout the most. The other, the MSI one is not bad either. Um, their one is okay too. But I've been really the temps that we've really appreciated are the Ryujin um, and the uh, H150 IQ Link. Uh, Mihoy, we just tear them apart. Some of them are, some of them are, uh, some of them are commissions. We actually have had people on rare occasions who've literally just called and said, like, can I just buy that PC you just built? And we, we just sell it, depending on what components are inside of it. So like, we'll replace them with retail components. 
But yeah, they're like, oh, I just want that PC you just built. I'm like, oh, okay, we can do that. There we go. I had to check first, but the Reugen, you're talking about the Reugen 3 360, that comes with Noctua Industrial Fame. Yeah. So they perform great. It do, it actually reminds me more of the land. It reminds me more of the 5000D than the Land Cool. Oh, I guess the Land Cool 2. Except for the Land Cool 2 actually has the mounting and then the. It actually it's it's a little bit more Corsairish than I'd say Land Coolish. <laughs> Thanks, Falcon. <laughs> yeah, I mean you could if you wanted to. I mean, I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't see why not. If you really wanted to, Araxis, if you're serious, it's not cheap. That PC is crazy expensive. Okay. Hey, I like that they actually label their screws. One day we're gonna build a Falcon street. We're gonna build a Falcon PC on stream, guys. It's gonna happen. That side panel is removable, and you could do fans there too. Yeah, that's that's what I was talking about. Like, it's more like a Corsair 5000D. You could take this and this off and actually do. It's it, it's 140 millimeters too, or is it 120s? I couldn't. I was looking in the manual. You can do 140s on the front and top. But not on the, not on the, so you could do a 420 at the top then. No one will watch a three day stream. Uh, you'd be surprised, Falcon. Uh, only a 360 on the top, it does two 140s. Ah. You guys, there's a lot of, you know, the, the amount of people, the, the amount, like people watch, people like what they like and they'll watch it for a long time. There's things that blow my mind that people watch and I'm like, okay. And it, if it makes you happy, I'll make the content. There we go. Um, for CAD work, uh, so I would say, I would say for CAD work, yes, a 4070, 4070 Ti. Uh, in terms of your CPU, you actually have less of a concern. I will say CAD is much more NVIDIA happy um, than uh, AMD happy. Um, but I will, like either one of those CPUs, I would not do, I would do, if I was gonna do a 7900, I would do a 7900X um, over just a plain 7900. Because you got, I mean, you you like CAD, which is very mathematical and stuff like that, can actually get some benefit from overclocking. Thirteen seven would also be well, Turdog. The fourteen seven actually has more e cores, right? Um, which for multitasking actually does, and and for multitasking does help, especially with with intense programs like CAD that can actually make a difference in performance. But if you really want to save money, Turdog's not wrong. I'm just giving you a bit of in, some, some info, right? Some things to think about. <laughs> I like how everybody's telling Falcon, like Falcon was joking, he's like, nobody's gonna, he was like kidding. And then everybody's like, oh, I'd watch it. Kelt's like, dang. Okay, guys, just getting our cases and stuff in. Our bits and bobs. I don't know what happened to my, I put my 
magnetic plate somewhere when we were doing something and now I can't find it. And I kind of want it back. Where did I set it? Where did it get set? Oh, it's right there. Okay, phew. I was like, I want my magnetic plate back. I'd make I'll... a joke about a certain tech, but they're not even here to defend themselves. <laughs> there we go. All right, cool. Uh, yes, we've used KPX. The one thing I, the reason I don't use it um, is it's not very viscous, it's, so it's harder to spread. Um, it's, and it's not to say that it's bad or good. It's, I mean, it is good, right? And I like, Kingpin is a friend, um, but uh, it's just not the most viscous stuff. I actually have some KPX. And do I have, I thought I had KPX in here. I did have KPX in here at one point in time. Maybe I used it all. Falcon uses it. Yeah, they use they use KPX. Okay, so guys, we have bracket in. What we're gonna do real quick is now we're gonna hook our first, we're gonna hook up all our front panels and everything like that. Before I do that, I'm gonna kind of do some cable management on the back here to just get it a little bit more under control. The AIO is actually already put together. So once we get that in, we pop the AIO in and the rest actually goes pretty, pretty quickly, so. Ugh. So we just we're gonna what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna white we're gonna take out all the stuff that is going to be connected to the motherboard, and then we're gonna take the stuff that's not and just kind of clean it up. Whoops. This is just so I can make a nice clean cable management. And there's some, there's some like, there's some attempt there, which is interesting. Like they, they really did this and then the rest is just kind of a train wreck, which is kind of like, why did you do it that way? But okay, we'll probably keep that all zip tied together. Okay, here we go. Time to time to get sit down to the serious business, guys. Serious business time. Pig Radio, we played your song. People loved it. They really did. They said, I loved it. Okay, here we go. It needs me to harmonize with it. I'll have to work on that. I'll work on my, next time I play it, I'll harmonize with it. It was still good, Pig Radio, it really was. It was very well done. Thank you. All right, guys, first spit of cable management done here. Okay, let's see what we can do here for these. These are like, I feel like these need to go, like go up. Like what is going on here? Same thing with this one. 
Oh, that's too short. Well, then we can bring this up and over. Oh, okay. And then this one can go even further over. Okay, this is what we're gonna do now. We're gonna make this look really good. The new tune was good. The new tune was good. How many points are we away, Blondie, from unlocking our first our first uh, giveaway? Five points, guys. One, if one person, one person could drop a tier three sub right now for themselves, it can't be a gifted, then we would unlock a in.2 giveaway right away. That's where, how close we are, guys. Five points away. Okay, now I've got all of these up here. I, I'm not gonna, I promise not to play any Mariah Carey, guys. No Mariah Carey, sorry. It's like, this is like ch Christmas chill music, you know? Well, that's a good question, Tur Dog. She's too divisive, Tur, she's too divisive, Araxness. Blondie was impressed, um, Pig, that you actually got her real scream into the show. I mean, into the sound clip. She didn't know you how you had captured her scream. She was like, wow, how did he get my scream in there? I was like, I don't know. Pig Radio's got, Pig Radio works in mysterious ways. I'd love to do a vote. Who is a fan of the Mariah Carey and who is not? How can you not be a fan of Mariah Carey? <laughs> that's why that's why I love you, B-Mock. I knew you were gonna I knew B Mock. I knew B Mock would be there to defend. We're gonna get a vote. Blind is gonna do a vote. I mean, honestly, I don't really know anything that Mariah Carey's done since I was a kid, so. Well, it's her, her Christmas song, right? It is like well known for like being like the first, like it's like the one that like a lot of like, it just, it's, it's like she thaws out, right? It's like always the joke. Ooh, wait, 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 is this? Okay, so these actually, okay, these actually are, let's not, I'm glad I didn't connect those, wow. Good save there, Ruby.
This one's actually gonna go pretty quick, guys, because this, this, this cable management is just naturally working itself out. Current pull's still going. Guys, we're one shy, one tier three away from unlocking a giveaway right away. Uh, Turdog, I watch Die Hard and Die Hard 2 at Christmas. Die Hard is the ultimate Christmas movie. And anybody, there are only two kinds of people. Those who think Die Hard is a Christmas movie and those who are wrong. It even has Christmas music in it. Yeah, I'm doing, uh, doing Home Alone while I'm doing the Home Alone Lego home. I got the, the Lego set. I, I, it's probably no surprise to many people that on top of building PCs, I also like building Lego. As if like building stuff on stream isn't enough, now I need to build it also when I'm on my off time. Oh yeah, you gotta watch that one for sure, Superman, yes. Animated, animated uh, Grinch for sure. Okay guys, there we go. Oh, remember all those crazy wires we had? Now it's just that, that's all there is. That's all we got. I got all of those wires down into that. And it's way cleaner now. The before and after on that would actually be impressive. I don't have a replay system right now. Okay, so now we're gonna run this stuff down. That kind of cable management, I could almost get a job at Falcon Northwest. Uh, we're, I started the, we we're watching, I was watching the Christmas Carol, like the, the, um, the Jim Carrey one. I was watching it just the other night. Like, uh, I've already watched, I think I've watched like, I think I'm on nine, I've already watched nine Christmas movies. I gotta watch Muppet Christmas Carol. Yeah, it's, it's on my list too. Um, I may not wanna do that one yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and snip these and I think we're kind of where the end of where I wanna be from a cable management standpoint. Okay, so this is where we are guys. From where we were, remember what it used to look like? And now it looks like that. Now we had all those wires down to just that at this point in time. So it looks much, much cleaner. Let's go ahead and run our, let's go ahead and run our front panels real quick. So, ugh. let's get our roaming camera here. I feel like even Blondie's, uh, even Blondie's, um, like preference came out in that with the with the uh, with the vote. Okay, here we go. So here is what we're gonna. I'm gonna. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I run it from the back, and then we'll run it to the front. Okay. So first and foremost, these are our front panel headers. We got power switch, power plus and minus. So that's gonna run through this right here, and then from this direction, it's gonna come up. And it's gonna run out right there. So it's gonna run that one right through here. Next up, 
We've got a, these are, these are the connections. These are the connections to the hub up here, the hub up here. So I'm gonna run these to this. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna split these up. So I'm gonna take this one, which is the fan. I'm gonna run the fan to the same place where I ran the front panel connector. So that's gonna come through right here. And then I'm gonna take my H, my, my um, RGB. I'm gonna run it through the second hole, which is gonna be right here. So it's over here on this side. So there's that, okay? So there's that front panel. Then what we have here is we have our HD audio cable, literally labeled HD audio. So this is HD audio. This one is gonna go also run to the same place where we ran that RGB cable. And then that's gonna come out right over here. Okay, so there's that. And then the last one, we have two more cables. Let's see where these run. Okay, so these are gonna run right up over here. So I'm gonna lift that up a little bit. These are gonna go right here, just like that, and then around. Just like so. And they're gonna come out just like this, okay? So there we go, now all our front panels are in. So those are all connected. And we're gonna flip this around, go to roaming so you can get a better view. I think you can see it better with this camera. Now I got a little light there. Yeah, okay, so here is the connection. It's very overexposed. Okay, so, which is fine. I want you guys to be able to see. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this cable. It's our USB 3.2. We'll run that right here. There's that one. And then we're gonna take our USB-C here. What in uh, Gaming Pro, What in what way? Because that can mean a lot of things in terms of download, in terms of what? Okay, so that takes care of those. Now we're gonna go down here to the front panel connectors. Okay, so we're gonna do our power plus and minus. So we're gonna do power plus and minus. So these are just gonna go right along the top here. Oops, actually, I'm like completely blind. Okay, power plus here. Power minus here. And then power switch right here. Okay, so there's those. Show you zoomed in here. So that's actually how they're connected. So power switch, power plus and minus. Sorry, it's not, well, let me see if I can hit the button. Does that make it do anything? I'm trying to see if it'll focus, there it goes, yeah. So there you go, power plus and minus, there you go, focused it. Focus, power plus and minus, and then we have that. Okay, so that's the, how those are connected, so you can get a good view there. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna run this, bring this down. Next up we have a fan header. This is for the hub, that's gonna go right here. Pull that through, there's that. And then let's move over to this side. Next up we have RGB. And that's, the, there's a plug right here. It's gonna plug into that. There we go, there's RGB. Then the last one, is we have HD audio, and that's gonna go in the far left-hand corner. Okay, so just to recap what you've seen here, all up, so this is our fan connection right here. That's from our hub. So power, power switches were first, those are our power plus and minus. That was right there. Then we did our fan from the hub, which you saw me route. Then we did our RGB, and then we did our HD audio. So that's it. 
And then up here at the top here, we have our USB-C, and then we have our USB 3.2. So that's all of our cables all hooked up now. So now what we can do, So it's, uh, it's actually by BenQ, and we're trying a bunch of different ones. I'm not, I'm not super happy with the quality, but one thing I will say is it does, I, I'm asking you guys just dead opinion. I'm trying to make sure that there's, you guys get to see all of the steps. And uh, that cam the, it feels like having a camera like that is critical to it, you know what I mean? So, even though the, the quality isn't the highest, it feels like it's still better than what I was doing before. I don't know if you guys have an opinion. We have, we also crowdfunded one for the Logitech, so I'm hoping at some point in time we get ni something nicer. Okay, what we're doing now is we're just basically making sure that these are tight and clean and So no, we don't really have any good. Oh man, that went right through here. There we go. Yeah, I wish I had a cable manage Harry Potter spell, but I don't mind cable management. I seem to be pretty good at it. No, I can get a link for it. Uh, I'll send it, at, is, is Tom here? I can send it to Tom and he can put it, he can get a link for it. I mean, I, it's, it's the Ben Q, I can get the name of it. Hopefully, I'm, hopefully I'll be at the launch for that, the Charlotte one. I was at the one for, uh, for Indianapolis. Getting this little bit cleaned up. They sponsored, yeah, they sponsored the, uh, they sponsored me going down there for the other one. Leroy Tethered, thank you for the prime sub. Guys, we still need like one more, one more tier three. There we go, guys. 
So that's what, remember what we were dealing with before and this is where we're at now. Feels like a much cleaner cable management situation here. What do you guys think? Seems much cleaner, don't you think? Compared to where we started, right? Uh, I can build, we can do commission builds if you want. That is an option for you if you wanna do that, if you wanna go that route. Okay guys, so there he is. There's all our cable management all done now. So now we're gonna do our AIO. Here's how the build's looking so far. Nice and clean. All of our cables are run and look beautiful. So I like, I like the way this is looking thus far. We actually have, we can remove the top. I don't know if we'll need to. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's do it all the right way. Let's, let's, let's not lazy out, guys. Let's do it the right way. Okay, so we're gonna remove these screws at the top. There we go. This is the APNX Creator C1. And it's a, it's a color changing case. We'll see when we get to that spider, just so you know. Okay, one more. It's kind of a thin radiator, wow. That it's not really anything to hold this in. That's kind of interesting. So they made it so it doesn't really hold all that well though. Okay. Okay, next up guys, time for the AIO again, which that means AIO song. Oops, oh, not that one. Justin Roby has a show. AIO. And on that show, he builds PCs. AIO. With a dad joke here and a zip tie there. RGB, RGB, and Bundy Bikiki. Justin Roby has a show. AIO. There we go. We've now got it again. Okay, here we go, top down. We've already got, all we gotta do is put on our bracket and stuff. The uh, packaging for this is actually pretty impressive. <clears throat> so people were huge fans. What I learned is that all of you guys are massive fans of um, Mariah Carey. That's what I've learned. Spider879, just go to youtube.com slash Robitech Live. It's all right there. It's not, it's actually like a blue and, it, and the color changes. So we'll find out. You guys will see more when we, we get there. And then this thing comes pre, pre-built. So we'll need this and this. And they all kind of, the best thing about this is all of this stuff kind of daisy chains together, so. Unfortunately, the fans do not look like they do. They're probably in the accessory bit in here. There it is. There we 
go. And there we go. So this is going to be like that. Which means they're going to come through the middle, okay. So what I'm working on is I'm going to cable manage this. So I'm going to cable manage this. So the only place where there, I'm not, you're not going to see any cables. The cable's going to come down from the AIO. There we go. So this will just come down and plug into the motherboard. So it'll be hidden behind it. For me, it's all about showing and having as me as little few cables as possible. Okay, so this is going to be the same way. This one's going to run through the back, and then there'll be. So we're just going to hook this up right here, and then this is going to go right in here. Okay, so this is going to get also zip tied. And what I really want here is I just need a long-ish cable to run through and then so I can basically have this run through the slot and connect to connect to the hub, the hub in the back. We do not want the fans from the bill, from the AIO connected to the hub. We want, we want to control those independently. We're going to have those be in the CPU fan. So that's why I have these two particular cables separated out. And this, I'm not as worried about making it look pretty because these are going to be hidden behind the back of the AIO. It's just about clumping here. Clumping. And you'll see when I hook it all up what I mean. Okay, there we go. So that's all, that'll, this will all be hidden behind the, the case. Uh, so it won't, you won't even be able to see it in the back. makes it easy. Okay, now what I need to do, I think there's anything else I need out of this. Oh, yeah, I need screws. <laughs> I need all my screws. No. Oh. Something I will use though. I appreciate them giving them to me. He's basically just hold the hold the GPU connections all together. This says that there are screws in this, but I do not see them. Maybe they're in here. Oh, here they are. I was like, where's all my screws?
Okay. Now we... That's like, you get no, look, you get like no choice. You're like, yes, these are how it's gonna go. That's like way hungover. To do this. Okay. So you have some you have some movement, okay. Okay, right, here we go. You know what I haven't been using, guys, which nobody's mentioned? The wow stick. No, he's been asking where the wow stick is. No, he's been like, where's the wow stick? What's up, Dewam Slayer? Dewam Slayer dropping a, a tier one. Guys, we just need one more person to drop like one tier three and we would be basically do that giveaway. Just need a tier three sub and we would do that giveaway. Immediately, we don't even wait till the end. We just basically, you can unlock it and be the hero. You could be the hero, baby. You could walk away the pain. Please don't take my breath away. Help me unlock an NVMe giveaway. I'm doing very well, Hawthorne. Thank you for saying hi. Wow, this goes in so nicely. I like like well-tooled parts, you know what I mean? I like just like go in, so butter smooth. That's what you need. Ooh, there we go. Okay. So we, I think we have everything. I think we might want to put our. I think I'm going to go ahead just to be safe. Not so far. I don't know. We don't usually get snow this early if we get it at all. We usually don't get it this early. Oh, uh, Dwarm Slayer, why do you feel t tired? That's what we need. There we go. Let's go to side view here. Hero Odyssey, thank you for the gifted sub. We're literally four points away from that giveaway, guys.
And we're over 50 subs. Whoa. Okay, let's end that one. Next goal is up. Doing to me, cable. Get in there. Oh, finally. Little purple there. Starting our Okay, there we go. Now, what we do, drop that down. There we go. And this will go in here to be controlled by. This will be controlled by the thing in the back. It looks like we're all good there. Find the cable, the cable. Where is the things for this here? Oh, did it want it the other way? It looks like it did. Guys, I put this on backwards. Okay, that's that's actually not that big of a deal. I can swift flip this around. Oops. Luckily, these are very well done. I didn't know how, I thought this would run. I thought this was the other way, but I guess it wasn't. Now I have everything hooked up. It's just easier to do it this way. Come on, get it guys, get it. Okay, there they go. All right, that takes care of that. Now it's the right direction. I had to flip it around, sorry about that. Luckily, these are so easy to put in. I'm like, I'm super impressed with just how easy this is to 
Like it's, I mean the, and it actually has nothing to do with the case. It's just Cooler Master did such a good job with the tooling that the, the, the screws just go in so smooth. fast to watch me do it, you know? Except for when you lose a screw that's around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Kind of our last bit of RGB there, okay. I just gotta find the, wait a minute, how is this? Wow, okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna wanna be as far this direction as we can be, okay. So you actually have a little bit of flexibility in terms of where you put Oh, come on. Okay, that takes care of that. Okay, I'm gonna lower the, ch the table a bit. You can just see the, cable, the screws a little bit better. so hard. Okay, there we go. We just got to make sure you go straight down with that. Okay. I realize why it was having so many problems now. That whole thing I was trying to do, which was like to hide the cables, find the AIO. There's like no room in between the AIO and the, and the back wall which is weird. Usually I do not have that problem. There's like no room here. I could move them up to hide it up here which seems like the right call there. So I'm just gonna have to move this up higher, which is fine. We can do that. Okay, so let's go to side here. I just need more room here. That means that we've lost, we've had a couple zip ties sacrifice their lives for nothing. Sorry, zip ties. Okay. So 
So we need to move this stuff. up where I can actually use the room. It may just be better to run this. I think I'm just gonna have to run this back, okay. I was hoping to just hide it all and have like pristine cable management, but the case does not allow that. So we're just gonna run it all the back here. And then we'll try and fix it there. A little bit of a bummer. I like it when you have the room there, but apparently this case is not gonna give it to us, guys. unfortunate because like now the way that it hits is it's like you can see all of the cables up at the top I really want I don't like that how much visible cable there is Mario, thank you very much for the resub. I try and get, try and do the same thing I was doing. Going to top down here. What I'm trying to do, guys, is I'm trying to make it because you know cabling is important, and we have like we have an area of the of the case up here that we could hide cables, and then just have our one little bit come down. So we're going to do this because I just really don't want to see any cables, you know? That's not, that's not what you guys come for. That's not the entertainment you sign up for. Sorry. All right, let's lift this up a little bit. Don't need to bend down this much. Yeah, I wish wireless, but it's just like I like I saw this and I just started to see the amount of cables that you could see and I was like, yeah, that's a no bueno. Okay, so if I want, I could actually have this. This is gonna be my best bet. So I could actually run this down. You know what I mean? That's gonna be short enough. It's gotta be really far left though.
Okay, what I'm doing is just like preemptively. I'll work within the power of the cable, the case here. gonna work guys. I think that'll work, guys. I think we've got a better solution here. And this is now all. This can just all be sitting over here. We should have all sorts of room over here for this just to sit here now. Hopefully. I was not expecting this to take, this particular portion to take as long as it has taken. Okay, I think, guys, I think we got it. Okay, let's see. Should have room now. If I did this right. Question is, did I do it right? Here we go. So first thing we're gonna do, go to side here, take this cable, come on, plug in. And then we have, oh shoot, did I run it the wrong? Way I did, did I? Okay, no, we'll, we might be okay, okay. Might actually still be fine. Okay guys, I think this worked. Yep, it did. Yep, it worked. And then we have this cable. There we go. Wow, it actually worked, guys. All those cables are hidden. Okay, cool. Ah, we did it. Just need to find the...
One thing that's hard is like, I wish they would have lowered. I mean, there's nothing I can do about this top portion. Like, I know the black will fill it out so you won't be able to see it or anything like that, but it's like, I, there's nothing I can really do because the, um, the, the gap at the top is too, um, it's too big. So if you're gonna use the, home, the, the hub like I'm using, which you would, right? You, you, you're gonna have that, you're gonna have that visible a little bit. The back is black, so you won't see it. But it still looks way better. Okay, AIO's installed, all the cables are in for that. Now we just need to do our mounting. You go into top down, so everything's ready. Like I said, we have, what we did is we ended up running just this one cable down. Now, all of the main AIO cables are actually hidden over here in this corner, so you can't really see them. And then there's just not, there's nothing I can do about the visibility up here. Actually, I think rubber grommets would have been really nice here, because this I was able to hide, but there's just nothing because of the RGB hub for me to be able to hide that. Cool. Okay, so let's get this done. Where's my, there it is. This will be probably almost neutral. I Means there, there's it uh, if like yeah because you you have exhaust coming through the radiator right and then exhaust so it'll be it'll probably be close to neutral. If anything, maybe slightly negative. these in, they slide under just like that. Guys, we need a hundred more likes on YouTube. Head over to youtube.com slash Robitech Live. Hit that, you guys are usually pretty quick about getting that nailed. Guys, we also need one more tier three. If somebody wants to upgrade a tier, tier one to tier three, that would unlock a immediate NVMe giveaway. Can we get one hero to do that? Head over, there's the link guys. Head over, hit that thumbs up. Thumbs up for free and it unlocks a $25 new gift card. We're all relaxed and not hitting likes, huh? Okay, so that's all that. So that's all the Intel stuff installed. There we go, we're at 150 guys, let's keep going. We need to get to 250. Yeah, Roby Iglesias. I can be your hero, baby. 
I can give you a tier three sub. You can make partner plus happen. How is this twisted like the what the Oh, that's why. This doesn't make any sense. There we go. We got a tier one just up for grabs. Like just, all we gotta do is just hit it. You guys are so close now. You just do an upgrade and that or whatever, that would make it happen too. There, wow, that was like almost off. Okay, there we go. Okay, just running our last little bit of cable management here. There we go. Just want these cables to disappear. Okay. Okay, just putting our, just, re, just routing cables real quick. You've seen where to hook them up already. Okay, right, guys. We are just about there, finally. Mm 
This is the last of the AIO stuff. And then, okay, AIO is done. Always a little bit of a lengthy bit, but that's it. Okay, guys, all we have left is cable extensions, GPU, that's it. We are done after that. And we'll do some cable stuff, I mean, we'll do some, some testing and uh, do some testing and call it a day. GPU's coming up, yep. Just gotta get my cable extensions in real quick. Cable extensions. There, what? I am? They're shutting, wait, I announced it? I shut, I announced that they're shutting down. Araxis, we'll find out. Cause we haven't, we haven't, actually we haven't, I know it's, I think this cooler was tested. We just haven't, uh, we just haven't done it live on the show. I was like, no, no tie downs for this cable. It's like none. It's like, nope, no tie downs. That's interesting. There's like literally no tie downs on the right hand side. Huh. Was not expecting that. Weird. Okay, let's just throw, the only thing we gotta do is grab our big purple cable for 24 pin. Wow, that is crazy, really? Like that's, I thought you were being like joking. No, you're serious. Wow. That's actually, I mean, they probably have like, they, they have to have high viewership. What the? It just surprises me. I mean, they're like Korea in a lot of ways was like how like watching video games, what watching video games like originated in a lot of like they were in a lot of ways like kind of what started even started that culture. That's like really surprising. I mean, think about it, like StarCraft. Dude, I mean, how many, but like how many pro-Korean, how many pro-Korean eSport players are there? Like, where are they gonna stream now? Is there another one? Is that where it's, yeah, it's all gonna be YouTube gaming? I don't know if kicks over there. That's really surprising. Oh, okay. So they have, is there, it, do they stream there? Is that where the majority of Koreans stream maybe? 
is Africa TV. Africa TV, that's a weird name. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Oh, geez, sorry guys. You guys weren't, couldn't even see it, okay. Wow, this is gonna be a weird. I don't know what to do with that. Maybe. Okay, going back here to roaming. This is just to make sure we get that right angle in the front there. What we have is on the front. So we have that like little pop, not a ton of color coming out of that, but it's just like they have a really tight, really tight um, like place to run that cable. Okay, well there's all the cable extensions. A little bit of purple there in the front, but nothing too heavy. Okay, last parts guys, GPU, PSU, we're done. It's weird that we have like nowhere to there's like nothing, not even anything on the edge. There's like no place to put this cable. Maybe top down. Okay, 
hopefully that's the right length, we'll find out. Okay, let's grab our GPU. Looks nice and clean though, right? Yes, DEF CON, you can absolutely use them with that. They pretty much work with anything. Okay, here we go. We don't need the K, we don't need the, luckily all we need is the GPU here. Big ol' honkin' GPU to go in. Oops. There we go. Triple slot. How are we doing likes on YouTube, guys? Uh, you can. You can do a Slim 4080 with the Asus um, ProArt is a Slim. It's actually a two slot. And uh, I have it in my Falcon, actually, my Tiki. Um, you, uh, I, if I use like a 14900K or if it's like something, I'll sometimes use a, um, a, um, a plate for, to keep, to improve temperatures. But to be honest, like I only use it when necessary. Um, but you, uh, I don't know if they fixed the problem. I think some of the problems, the problems have been a mixture of things. One is, um, things like multi-core enhancement on which has made things really hot. But yes, they do, the plates do improve temperature still. There we go. Where did it, okay. And then luckily we got that beautiful built-in sag bracket. So we use that to improve our sagginess once we uh, get this up and going here. Yeah, we have a new, we have a uh, review and a all pro art build coming up actually pretty soon. So that should be in a couple weeks, actually. Okay, let's see here. Just gonna make sure that we have no sag. That looks beautiful and even. Okay. Okay, let's throw our GPU cable in and then put in power and we're done. Hey, Koala, thank you very much for the Prime sub. How are we doing likes on YouTube, guys? 
There's 350 people here. Come on guys, head over to youtube.com slash Robitech Live. Hit that thumbs up button. We only, we're very close to being done with this build. So we wanna get those likes done. Uh, we're still four away. We still need four or five points, right? So we need four points. So I'd love to see somebody just convert to a tier three. That'd be awesome. And then we would basically hit that point goal for that Jeep for that giveaway. What if this makes the most sense here? Okay guys, there it is. So that's what the frontal build will look like. Uh, when we, we're, gonna, we're still gonna put all the case cover and all that stuff in it here pretty soon. But yeah, that is the build in terms of it's, it's pretty much all I gotta do is put in the PSU. This is not gonna take long. Okay, let's grab our V850i Gold. I think we, I think actually it's funny cause like all I need is three cables, three power, three cables, that's it. I need a PSU. Oh no, I need one SATA, okay. So I'll need four cables. Stretch, okay. Uh, stretch in. Oh yeah. Makes it far less heavy. Okay, so we need one of these. Araxness, not really. Yeah, it is a nice bag. You are right. There's our... Not that one. go. Need a CPU, another PCIe, another SATA, Molex U. There's our CPU cable. Uh, even I'm talking to all of them. So ad deal, we, we don't like, it's too early. I, I literally did a rant on this a little bit earlier, but uh, with GTA 6 coming out in like 2027 or 2026 for PC, it's too early to do a GTA 6 PC. Cause we don't even like, we don't even know what the, we don't even have an official announcement of when it's coming to PC. Hey, B32 brand. There we go, right there. We have unlocked a one terabyte Kingston NVMe giveaway. Let's do it right now. There it is. Exclamation point partner plus.
one terabyte Kingston NVMe giveaway. Starting right now. And it's uh, exclamation point partner plus. There you go, two minutes guys. I have all my cables I need. Two minutes, guys. Don't forget to hit that like at the same time. Oh, geez, I was like, wait a minute. I was like doing the, I was like doing this. I was like, wait a minute. These aren't lining up at all because I put them on wrong. Make sure these are straight. Okay. So now I'm going to put in this. This is your motherboard. There we go. Next up is our one SATA. Our, there's our, there we go. And last one. Okay, there's all of our cables. And we're just going to run these through and then tighten this up. Congratulations to Dorian the Critic. Dorian the Critic, you are the winner. All right, wow, that was a little harder than I thought. Okay, here we go. Boys and girls, the end. The end of this build. Okay, there's still $250, there's still a $25 new gift card up for grabs. We still have some giveaways still, guys, that we gotta unlock. We've unlocked one $25 new gift card and a $50 new gift card. That's what we've unlocked thus far. So we are not done yet.
Okay, logging that in. 191 to 250, guys. Let's finish it. Wow, this song is pretty special, guys. Thank you very much, B32, for doing that, man. That gets us there. We're now on our way to the next one. And I'll do a, I'll get official tally for where we are at the end of tonight. As long as you guys are staying subbed, you know what I mean? As long as people are like doing it for the three months and let it auto renew, we will, we will be fine. But I just, I don't know. You're very welcome, Dorian. Congratulations. We still have more giveaways at the end here, guys. That's why we'll have all the big ones at the end. There's still giveaways still left, guys. Don't even if you're you're just getting here. We still have all the ones at the end of the stream. But this is why it pays to watch the stream throughout. There we go. So there's that. Now all we have left, we have two cables left. Well, I appreciate that, the weasel. Okay, make sure that's nice and there we go. Last cable. Jay Wax wants to be the next Mr. Beast, huh? How are we doing likes on YouTube, guys? Getting to the end of the build here. 198, guys, we're 50 shy. There's 307, almost 400 people here now. You can do it, just head over and hit that like button that unlocks the giveaway. Okay, guys, this build is done. Now we're just gonna put the... Put the case stuff back on. This is where you could install rear fans or NVMe drives or anything like that.
Yeah, I know. They are stressing me out. Just like it took so long to get the 25 points. You know what I mean? Here, we'll do a partner plus check real quick. See where we are from a partner plus standpoint. But there, there is the build with the cables. You know what I mean? Looks good, nice and clean. Let's check out partner plus to see how, how we're doing. We are at 48, so we're just at 50. Now it is only the fifth, right? So we're 50, so we're 300 away from hitting that goal right now. But we have a lot of people that have done the thing very much. Mark, thank you very much for the prime sub. All right, so now lift this up, make sure our cables are all correct. Everything looks good here. Nothing twisted, that looks clean, okay. Let's go to front here. There we go. Next up. So this slides down. Okay, there we go. I think it is on. Yep, okay, that's all in. Okay, so that puts that on. Okay, let's go to side here. It's a little bit more unique than what we typically do. And this holds this down. There's that, and this covers this. And there we go, now, and there is our build, with the, like, the blue and the purple and everything else. You can't really see the cables, which is nice. And then again, this case is color changing. So what we're gonna do real quick, we're just gonna pick up, count our count our, uh, our cable ties, do our sponsor bit, do our deals, and then we'll turn it on and finish this build. Uh, then we'll start our benchmarking and do our giveaways. So. Yeah, it's like a mood ring, exactly. How are we doing likes on YouTube, guys? Two oh seven. Let's finish it out, guys. We're getting closer. Okay, let's take a drink. Let's do our top down. Forty more likes, and then we're gonna start. Okay, so there's the build. We're gonna turn it on in just a second. Let's count our cable ties. I think I'm gonna do purple, but I'm not sure yet. We'll have to see. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. There's five. One, two, three, four, five. There's 10. One, two, Three, four, five, there's 15. 
One, two, three, four, five. There's 20. One, two, three, four, five. There's 25. One, two, three, four, five. There's 30, 32 guys. It's even today, 32. 32 guys, even today. It's been odd for the last X number. It's like almost, it's been odd a lot. So 32, it's nice to see some even here. 32 today, guys. Okay. Congratulations, even winners. Okay, let's go through our deals and talk about, we're gonna do deals real quick and then talk about our sponsor and then we will get right to turning it on and doing our benchmarks, guys. And then uh, just something new, when we do new cases, I wanted to give you guys an update. Uh, when we do new cases, uh, when we recut, we recut the streams and then we release them on YouTube uh, as cut downs, and that will have additional thermal and benchmarks from now on, so for all new cases. Um, so you will see it for like the EVA 02, um, and, all, and even in certain cases, like if there's a very unique commission build, then we'll go ahead and run it for that. So when you see cut downs, uh, so if you're like, oh, I really like this build, I'd like to see additional benchmarks, go watch the cut down, which would be the highlights of whatever you saw on the stream, plus, and then also just some extra graphics and an intro and my, my final thought. So uh, just some stuff that you guys will, uh, if you guys wanna know more uh, after a build stream and some additional thoughts, that's a great place to go get uh, more information. So I just wanted to throw that out there if you're looking for uh, you're looking for a little additional information on the cases, we are putting more stuff up for you um, now. Um, okay. So if uh, hold on, let me just finish these out. Yes, and we'll, we'll we'll I'll make sure that they have the AIO song in its full glory from now on. Okay. What's up, Electric Yoshi? How are you? <clears throat> okay, so say for instance, you finish a PC like this and it's time to install a copy of Microsoft Windows, right? You can download Windows for free, but if you wanna do things like do customization, all that sort of stuff, you do need to have a licensed copy of Windows. So if you were to pick up, it's like Best Buy or Newegg, it's about 150 bucks. But here at VIP slash CDKDeals.com, you can pick up a copy of Windows 10 Pro for $23 or Windows 11 Pro for $31.89. But let's take a look here. Let's go Windows 10 Pro. Uh, and then you go here and you hit buy now and use code RBCK at checkout and hit apply. What was $23.09 drops, drops down to $16.16, which is, these are one-time use codes, so you can't like move them from system to system like the $150 ones, but most people don't need 10 systems, you know what I mean? So, so pretty crazy and all that sort of stuff. Well, what about copies of Office? If you wanna pick up a copy of Office. So here's Office. Uh, here's Microsoft Office 2021. Usually it's 250, 300 bucks, but here at CD, VIP slash CD Gig Deals, you can get it for 103.44. So go in here, same thing, use buy now uh, and use RBCK at checkout for instead of it being 103.44, you can pick up a copy of uh, Microsoft Office Professional for a whopping $72.41. So if you have questions, literally thousands, thousands of people here in my channel have used it. Um, it's a great place to get inexpensive windows. They have great customer service. They are licensed copies of uh, Microsoft Windows. And if you have questions, you can always just ask them here in chat. Uh, and then, uh, like I said, it usually takes, what, maybe five minutes, three to five minutes for you to get your key after you purchase them. Um, so yeah, check it out, vip slash cdkdeals.com. Great place to go and get copies of Windows and Microsoft Office. They also sell games and other things, but that's up to you. So, and then again, using my code RBCK at checkout will get you additional savings. So that's uh, VIP slash CDK deals. 
The other thing I want to tell you guys about is robytech.com. So people are saying stuff like, I love the mod mats. I love the jacket. Whoa. I love it when my, my desk starts going up. Well, all that stuff you can just find at robytech.com as well as uh, written articles and uh, information and stuff like that. So here, for instance, we have a whole thing on our favorite things of Roby Tech. Um, so these are my top items. So if you're curious about what my great Christmas lift, uh, we have a whole article just on that. The other thing too is we also have the Insider, um, which is a great place that comes to subscribe for a weekly basis that shows all of the streams that we did, as well as highlights from the community, all the builds, everything that's going on in Robitech. So you can just find that also at robitech.com slash insider. Last thing I highlight real quick is you can go over to builds, robitech.com slash builds, and you can find our builds plus the live stream as well. So here's a great place to find Find all the parts that went into a PC. So if you like the particular build and you wanted to follow along with the build, just head over to robytech.com slash builds and you can find it there. Um, last thing, deals. Let's see what he's got. So here are the stream deals that Tom's got for us uh, for 12.5 2023. Uh, Gigabyte 15.6 inch, 144 hertz. This is a Core i5 12500 with an NVIDIA RTX 4060. Uh, this also has a 512 SSD, which you can upgrade. Um, it'll have a second NVMe slot, and you can also upgrade the RAM. On sale right now, $749.99. Uh, the Ucom Nano 3-in-1 Wireless Charger. I use this. I have the blue one of these. These things are amazing, especially if you travel. Uh, it's currently 20% off, making it $34.99 at Amazon. Thermaltake Duff Power GF3 1000 watt PSU. It's a, uh, we've seen these in a ton of our builds. This, the MSI, and uh, the Cooler Master are three of the uh, the PSUs we use a lot. Um, the other thing too I like about the thermal take and specifically the MSI is that you can get cable market extensions for them, uh, but it has an ATX3. It's on sale right now, $169.99. Great for a 4090 build. You don't necessarily need it for anything higher than that. Uh, or if you're gonna do overclocking. Intel Core i5-12400F on sale right now, $134.97. So good price. Sama 2205A, I know nothing about this PS, uh, about this case. I haven't used it, but apparently you can put four 120 millimeter fans in it uh, and it's on sale $58.99. And then the Soundcore Anchor 3 portable Bluetooth speaker, uh, you know, great stocking stuffer, 31% uh, off making it $24.99. So if you're looking for a cheap, inexpensive Bluetooth speaker, there's your options. Which ones am I most stoked about? Um, honestly, the top three because this laptop with a 4060 and then you could uh, grab a one terabyte NVMe, you're still paying a thousand bucks for a 12400 with a 4060. I use this charger a ton and then this is a good PSU. So there it is, Gums. And it comes with, oh, it comes with four ARGB fans. I don't know anything about this case. I don't know if it's easy to build in or anything, but it is super cheap. So if you're looking for a cheap case, there you go. So they, everybody say, thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom, for the deals. How are we doing likes on YouTube, guys? I think he's ordered them. I don't know if they're out yet. 215, come on, guys, we got, we need 34 more, 35 more likes. Okay, time to turn on this bad boy. And then we'll start running it through its, uh, its, its, its paces. Okay, here we go, guys. Time to turn on the build. What you've been waiting for. Ugh. Here it is, guys. We'll give it like a little, little bit more so you guys can kind of see it the whole direction. And this, when we heat it up, it will change colors. I don't know when or how often or what when it will happen or when you when you'll get to see it, but we're gonna find out together. But this case does change color based on heat. Okay, and then will it post? I'm assuming we're good, Blondie. Okay, here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Ooh, I see power. There it is. It is on. It's like, it's like I hear, I keep hearing something like it's. Oh, this is not, oh. <laughs> 
I was like, what is, I was like, it's trying to spin and then it's stuck. Ow. Ooh, that really hurt. That was a powerful, powerful force there. There we go. Wow, those are some nice, those are some nice, ooh, geez. Guys, I literally, look. Like that fan, that fan like cut me, look at that. I, I lost blood. There you go. Wow, it like cut into my hand. <sighs> like it like took off a chunk of the skin. <laughs> the blood sacrifice has been made. Oh, and there he goes. It's all purple. He made it all purple. I didn't know he was going to do that. It is posted, by the way. There it is, guys. It is posted. Yeah, DN if, if, uh, if anybody wants to buy this PC, it has my DNA in it. Wow. So there is the build. I think we're gonna have to, uh... I like, that like took a big chunk. Okay, let me, uh, let me get the mouse and stuff. Yeah, you could you could Roby clone it, yeah, for sure. I will, of course. I think we'll try to have Dad for uh, for Santa Claus for sure. Oh man. Ooh. Um, it says MSI in it. Okay, I need to, I'm trying to get my finger to not hurt. Let's get, we're gonna, we're gonna, it, we, I think because I switched RAM. No, do not install freaking. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here we go. Let's do it again. Okay, show the RAM should apply. There we go. Beautiful, that purple. It looks really good. The purple with the other blue is actually gonna look really nice. Okay, I, I think my finger is done being painted. Now I'm looking around, because the, ca the case, remember, it changes color. We haven't generated a lot of heat yet. So let's uh, let's get let's get a let's get a case in here and keep going and see if we can change the color of this case. Okay. Okay. I do like the, uh, I do like the Atomos, like how bright it is. 
Okay, I'm gonna glue, I'm gonna glue my finger back together, guys. That's a big chunk. Okay, here we go. Blood has been sacrificed for the good of this build. Guys, we still need 23 more likes on YouTube. Thank you very much, Superman. I, I may need it, guys. It might, I might be dead in the morning. Okay. So build is ready. Put this in a little bit closer. And I want to put this underneath in case colors start changing or something like that, you know? So here we go, That's it's all lined up for you. And then here's, here's oh, right, let's give you the static look so you can see the build from the front. Now remember, this is a color changing build. It's supposed to change when we heat it up and all that sort of stuff, so we haven't heated it up yet. It does, it actually looks like it's more purple, but I can't say. Okay, so let's let's start getting some heat through this. Okay, apparently I don't have Cinebench or anything on here right now. Guys, what am I gonna do if my if I die? Like, what will my family? You think my family? Will you guys miss me? If I die, will you carry on and get me Partner Plush? I mean, Partner Plus. Yeah, it looks bluish right now. Please tell me that you will continue my destiny if I die. Workers comp. Okay, let's download hardware info monitor. I have to say, guys, the fans are pretty loud. How many tokens for a tourniquet? Okay, just installing our all the thing we need. Hold on one sec, guys. I'll be right back. 236. I'm just gonna run some cold water over it and wash it, just in case that thing's uh yeah, here, let me bring up here. Here's the parts list for the build. You guys can see that while I'm right. I want to make sure that switches. And then I will be right back. There it is, there are the parts for the build that we're getting ready to test. I'm gonna wash it real quick. Just don't want it to get infected. I don't know how dirty those, I don't know where those fans have been. What if this, guys, what if you guys just saw like a Roby Tech assassination attempt? What if that's what this was? And somebody was trying to assassinate me with a poisonous fan, but I just saved my life because I disinfected it. It's like the scourge from Transformers. What if that's what just happened? <laughs> we'll be getting it. I like how this is like escalated. Ugh. So anyway, that's what's in here, guys. We have the Intel Core i7-14700K, MSI Z790 Tomahawk Max. This is one of their refresh boards. The Gaming X Trio, uh, GeForce RTX 4080, two four terabyte, two two terabyte WD Black SN850Xs, 
32 gigs of G-Skill Triton Z at 6,000 mega transfer, the APNX Creator C1, Cooler Master Master Liquid 360 At Atmos, which is their brand new AIO, and the Cooler Master V850i cooler. So that's, that's everything inside of the build. Why is this not up there? Okay, there we go. And then I have these. I don't think I have MSI Afterburner either, guys. So we'll get all this stuff installed. I think, I feel like our, our fans are like on like, I might go into the BIOS real quick. Roby. Yes. In the, in the specs, they show the case fans will reach 33 decibels. Oh, just, just, but I feel like they're, do they, are they, they're PWM, so they should, I couldn't slow them down. I just feel like they're running at max. They're going to be a bit louder than other fans. Oh, but. okay. Yeah, it was a pretty easy case to build in 70. Oh, by the way, 77002, we did find your, uh, thank you very much for the, um, for the donation, we did find it. I don't know why it didn't ping, but we did find it. Well, it's, it's yeah, the case fans are a little. I don't feel like this installed like it was supposed to, it didn't. This is the second time that this has happened, okay? I like how this asks you to install the Bing bar. Yeah, we with that with that it is set up to ping still, but yeah. Yeah, next case, metal fans. Let's take out Roby's, let's take off Roby's hand. Yes. Oh, drinks are for sure. No, it's, it was, it's just, it's, it's all. I think this one we had my team set up because I was, I was on vacation. So the, I mean, sorry, I was traveling for shoots. And so it's not all set up. Yes. Yeah, so a 49, I mean the 4090, this is a 4080. So yes, it would fit inside of this case. No problem. You can see here from the front, you, how much room. Yes. Yeah, so a 4090 would fit in here. So if you were to switch this out with like a Strix 4090 or any of those cases, it would fit in here. No problem. So it's got plenty of room for 4090s. Okay. Sure, why did this? There we go. Oh no. Okay, let me check something real quick. This song, wow, this song is something. Okay, I can't, that's too much. It's too much, it's too much, it's too much. It's too much. Okay, we go. Okay, Let, I think we have everything we need here. I'm just gonna make sure real quick. Make sure our RAM and stuff, because I switched RAM that it's running at max. Yeah, it was high octane. 
That was like the best song. We like that song. Yeah, see, now they're quieter. So I, I'm going to check change the fan settings just for those one. There we go. Okay, so they're now smart fans. Okay, so now our fans are on a, a much more smart fan curve and not near as loud anymore. They were a little crazy, but we got that fixed. You guys are all over that song. It is absolutely a Christmas movie. Who is saying it's not a Die Hard, it's not a Christmas movie? Knockout, thank you very much for the tier three sub. Thank you, Knockout. That's another six points. What are we at the next point wise? This is critical. We're gonna tell you, you're gonna see it out in a minute. 237 guys in YouTube. We need to finish it out. Oh, we have four. Okay. That's not as close as I thought. All right, here we go. Back into the capture. Everything went purple. Fans sound better. Okay, here we go. Let's see if the case starts changing colors. We're gonna start generating some heat out of this bad boy. Okay, temps right now are good. I'm gonna set this for 10 minutes. Here we go, starting right now. Fans started spinning. Two hundred sixty six watts. Wow, dude, that just like jumped up. Thirty five thousand points. But now the question is, I'm starting to see heat. OK, heat is coming out of the top. We're gonna see, I'm looking to see if the color changes. I can definitely feel heat. Okay, we're gonna to go to the top camera here. Okay, so we're seeing if there's any color change. This thing is running, it's killing, it's running 92 or 89.90 right now. Looks blue. We're gonna see what happens, right? Like, let it, like, we wanted it to heat up. It's staying at 90, so. Oh, I thought it was a heat thing. Somebody, th somebody told me it was a, a heat thing. So it's, a, it's an ambient lighting thing? Okay, let me look it up. Dang it, I, I might have failed, guys. I thought it was a heat thing. Chroma flare.
Oh. I know, Org. I know. I thought it was a heat thing. Like the... So it's not. It's a light thing. Oh, that's... Oh, it's all based on light. Well, guys, guess what? It doesn't change color. This is now the lamest stream over. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, let's let's do. Let's see how it changes when you. Okay, so now it's blue. Guys, it's heating up now. Look. Look, it's heating up. Now it's purple. Look, it's purple now. It's it's purple. It's red. Now it's, it's, God, it's so better. After I gave it all my blood, I bled for nothing. I give it all my blood. Well, okay, well, temperature wise, temperature wise it's sitting, I know, I promised a fire dance, I just, I really just, oh my gosh, guys. Well, it's sitting at 93, it's been running for, Five minutes. I think it's going to sit at about 93 the entire time. It's not really, you know, nothing particularly crazy. Um, you know what? Here, here, watch this, watch this. Um, it's, look, it's, it's color changing. Watch. See, it's blue, and now you can't see it. It's brown, and then it's blue, and then you can't see it. It's brown. Look at how the ambient light changes how it looks. Oh, my gosh. Look, it's, oh, it's so incredible. It does, I mean, you can see some of the chroma flare and all that sort of stuff on it. <laughs> yeah, it's got some purple, and then of course when you kind of move it around, you know what I mean, you can definitely, it's definitely got that like color changing look to it, you know what I mean? Like as you move it around, especially here, let's go to the back. You can probably see it a little bit more here on the back, but like, you know what I mean? So it's got that purple, like the corner really blue, you know what I mean? So. Would it be cooler if it changed with the heat? Yeah. I mean, it's a high airflow case, Scandinavian design. You know what I mean? So it's got, it's kind of cool. Like it's got like a nice paint. The, the, the paint is like, it's like super rough. It's almost like, you know, like I, I was reading, I think it's like sandpaper. The, the corners not being sharp is nice in case you like have somebody who likes to run into your PC, you know, like me with your dangerous finger. Now I can't cut it on the outside, so they made me cut it on the inside. But yeah. It's funny, because I was originally gonna put the MA824 reacting air cooler inside of it, because I was like, oh man, imagine if I had two, two pieces of, of uh, two pieces of like heat adapting technology, and I was let down, guys. This cooler is doing a great job it like literally, I, I mean, we're at, I think we're at soak temp. It's just staying at 92. So um, I think this, like, no, I, this temp, this cooler has no problem with this. And I didn't change anything. I didn't modify settings. It's just basically doing its job. The purple is great. So I mean, all in all, it's a very, it's a very attractive build. It just uh, doesn't change color when you turn on the heat. So there is that. Yeah, it's, yeah. But I mean, look, it went up to like 300. Yeah, look at this, it's like 300, and it's just keeping it in the 90s. So again, it's way, it, it is not running stock right here. It's just basically, this this AIO is doing a great job. Honestly, the fans are feeding it. It's a little loud, comparatively, for sure, but yeah. Six more likes, guys. I know, DeWeasel, I'm sorry. It, it, would, it probably would have been better if it posted. Yeah, it doesn't change color and it attacks you. That is the, that's what you need to know. All right, well, I think we're good there. It's, yeah, temps wise, we're good. Okay. So let's go ahead, just check a couple games, see what gaming temperatures are like. I do need to set this up real quick. 
just so you guys can see it. So on-screen monitoring, GPU temperature. Okay, so let's just set this up real quick. Um, GPU memory. GPU core clock. GPU memory clock, GPU power. I'm sorry guys, I should have read. I thought I, yeah, yeah. I did not. Okay, CPU temperature, here we go. Let's see how the temps are when we're gaming. Wow, it's way quieter now. CPU usage, CPU clock, CPU power, uh, frame rate, so you guys can see that, and then frame time. Okay, there we go. Let's go to on screen, more. Make that a little bigger. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're ready. Hey, we hit YouTube goal. Oh, I hope that, oh man. You know what guys, Cyberpunk's gonna have an update because of 2.1. won't be too long. Hogwarts is updated. Okay, that's good. At least we got some things. Okay, so how long? I think the updates, how long is, how big is the update? Because 2.1 came out today and it actually has a new benchmark and all sorts of stuff. Microsoft Flight Sim had an update. I, I'm ready for Flight Sim too. Why is this? This is terrible. Oh yeah, there it goes. Uh, a little bit better. Oh, there it goes. So we have a nice, we have a nice speed. This shouldn't, this shouldn't take that long. So we can just have it real quick. So we'll run, we'll run Cyberpunk. We'll run, uh, we'll run Cyberpunk Starfield. Um, and then probably just those two for tonight. Um, and then go from there. Yeah, Turdog, it does. I don't have, I, I, I need to put Microsoft Flight Sim back on here. And then we'll start our giveaways. We've unlocked two $25 Nui gift cards. And then we've got the $50 Nui gift card. That's all we have left, right? Hey, Sergeant Nobody, thank you for the gifted sub. Giving it to the T-Man. Well, let's, while this is waiting, let's go ahead and run our two $25 Nui gift cards. Exclamation point community, boys and girls. Exclamation point community. Two $25 New Age gift cards up for grabs. Okay, let's go to giveaways. Okay, two up for grabs. Two minute, two minutes, guys. Two $25 New Age gift cards up for grabs.
two minutes. And then we have the $50 new gift card and then that's it for tonight. There we go. Okay. Congratulations, uh, Delusia Shadow and Kaizy for winning the two $25 new gift cards. How did that go so fast? That was like the fastest two minutes on the planet. Elusive Shadow and uh, yeah, congratulations, Elusive Shadow and Kaizy. Yeah, congratulations. Uh, Cause it, I thought this was, this took two minutes. Oh, it's updating. That's why I was like, wait a minute. We, I was like, oh, what's going on? But now I realized. Okay, guys, we're gonna run these. We're just waiting for the, waiting for the download to finish. I mean, the update to finish. That didn't take too long. It's a gig, Turdog, it's a gig. So I don't know what that, I don't know, I don't know how to do the conversion in my head. Oh. Gig up, gig down, here. Here, you can just see it here. Yeah, this only shows. There we go. I was the 50 billionth test. Oh, this thing is like crazy. Faith makes a way, ours is masked. So that's just, that's behind, that, you could do that, but it would, it's, it's fine. Because of all the stuff that the things that we have, like you can't trust that. Yeah, it is fiber. 
We're trying to go to 10. That's what I want. But I mean, none of these support it. But internally. This is like all the work ever. It was like, it was like installing, verifying, checking, validating. It's gonna be like 30 times. Uh, it, the color, it's a, the, it's a, it's a purple. If you guys wanna hear you go, I can show you the colors. And then again, the, the case itself is like a, a, a chroma non color changing color as well. So there you go. So that's why we put it, we matched it with like the overall just look of the case, which actually changes color based on lighting and stuff like that. So there's like the full build. And again, parts that are inside of this, if you want to know, uh, we have an Intel Core i7 14700K. Uh, we're using the, the refreshed uh, MSI motherboard, the MSI Z790 Tomahawk Max. We have the, MS, the MSI RTX 4080 Gaming X Trio, two two terabyte WD Black SN850 Xs, G Skill Triton Z, 32 gigs at 6,000 mega transfer, the APNX Creator C1, which is the case we're verifying today, Cooler Master Master Liquid 360 Atmos, which is their new AIO, which we saw uh, managing our 40 our uh, 14.7 no problem, and then we have the Cooler Master V850i CPU. I mean, uh, sorry, PSU. So it's a good, it's a good build. It's a really, really good build. The case is, the case is good. It's okay, easy to build in. A couple things I would say is like, for instance, the, the I wish there were, uh, I wish there were um, rubber grommets in the top. Uh, there's weird, there's no tie downs in the backhand side for the build. So for like doing your back cable management. Um, but I mean, like outside of that, everything else is pretty straightforward. The um, lack of cable management, like with their fanning, fans and stuff out of the box was actually pretty terrible. So there's some like additional work there, but yeah, it's, it's an okay case. Uh, Gertie Wordy, like I'm guessing, I mean, like again, that's actually really hard to do given that, um, uh, given that we don't know what year it will be, right? So, I mean, like it could be a 60, like a, like a 50, a, a 50, 60, you know what I mean? Okay, let's look and launch, launch uh, Cyberpunk. Or like a 40, 60, you know what I mean? Like, because it, it would be three years from now or four years from now. Champagne Communist, we do have warranties. We So what we have, if people wanted to buy a build from us, they're allowed to ship it back to us. We help with any warranty issues. We haven't ever had that happen in my three years of building PCs. We haven't had any issues. Uh, so we do pretty extensive testing on our builds before we send them out, which is probably one of the reasons why. The other thing too is because we hand choose, like the odds of the, because we hand choose a lot of the parts, like we don't, we just don't choose stuff that's gonna fail. Um, in terms of optimizations, uh, it depends. Um, we have offered it and have done it in certain cases and people have paid us to do it, um, but it's not something we do very frequently. Yeah, Gertie Wordy, we're talking about like four, you know, it could be four years from now. They've like completely changed this now. So we're looking at the new thing. Yeah, Kenneth, Kenneth is right. Well, you could actually, 4090 runs on 850 watts, but you should be using a, a thousand watt. I don't know why people do it, but it's, it's supposed to, they just show some different data. Wow, look, they even changed the UI. Okay, here we go, graphics. So we're gonna do ray tracing, all, uh, we'll choose ray tracing ultra, DLSS super resolution. We'll change it to balanced. Ray tracing is ultra, path tracing we can turn on. So now we actually we'll just set it to, we'll just put it on overdrive. Resolution, balanced, ray reconstructions on. We're gonna put frame generation off for now. Okay, let's apply that. Let's go to video. 
Go to full screen. There we go. Uh, V-Sync's off, monitor one. Okay, run benchmark. So if you're gonna air cool a 13900K, there's only one case that we've been able to successfully do that in, and that is the fractal torrent. So the fractal torrent is a great case to do that in, and it will, you can air cool a 13900K. Yep. Uh, Blondie, what's up? Yeah, we can re-roll it. Okay, so this is running at 70. This is like 60 with DLSS, and it's, actually, this is really impressive. I was expecting lower. This is with path tracing, no frame generation. Okay, I'll roll, we'll roll one more, okay. Okay, one exclamation point community, guys. Exclamation point community, starting it right now. So running at 57 degrees, 60 degrees for our GP, CPU, and 63 degrees for our GPU. And again, this is patch racing, so the GPU is definitely going to be warmer here. Um, and then CPU is still 35%, but yeah, temps are fine. Again, it's just we could put it on uh, Intel stock and the temperature for the CPU would go way down. So 80.23, we just want to throw it in there just for fun. We can turn frame generation on just to see our best case. And then we'll run over to Starfield, which we're still waiting for the Bloomin' RTX patch. <sighs> Lord Servo, thank you very much for the tier one sub, man. Appreciate it. And this is 1440p. So if you were gonna do frame generation, you can get 100 plus frames per second. Or you don't have to run it. Hey, Igor's playing Starfield right now. Just so you guys know. Six seconds, guys. So there you go, guys. There's all your temperature, your frames, your memory, your all the stuff you care about. Wattage, temps are fine. Congratulations to Superman. Congratulations, Supra. There you go, dude. So there we go, game version 2.1, 114 frames per second with um, path tracing on. So that's like the worst of the worst. And that's how the game would run, which is on a 4080 is fine. Oh, I forgot, I kept thinking it was a 4070 Ti. Sorry, 4080, that makes way more sense. This, this, these, these frames make way more sense. I was like, wow, this is really high for a 4070. That's because it's a 4080. Okay, so let's go and check out Starfield real quick. I, just, I know, it's like, it literally says, for, I just... Because tomorrow's build is a 4070 Ti, I think, and I that's the one I benched today, I've been confused all day. Like, when I first put this in and set this up, it actually said it was an Arrow 4070 Ti, which is actually tomorrow's build. So, yeah, that's uh, it's my bad.
Okay, last kind of kind of last test for tonight. Seeing how Starfield and again. If you want to see more, we'll have a cut down of this build with a lot more uh, benchmarks and Apex, Fortnite, COD, um, Tiny Tina's, Forza, uh, and all these ones too. We just want to make sure that we like we, we're trying to do a better job um, of balancing. Uh, all that sort of stuff. So those will be, and all new cases that we do on a live stream will end up with a stream, so. Okay, so let's go here. Let's turn V-Sync off. Let's turn motion blur off. Let's just run, let's turn dynamic generation off. Turn FSR off. It does have, oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. No, it's here. Oh, DLS, this is on. Oh, guys, we have it. Okay, so we actually, okay, so we have frame generation now. Wow. Okay, let's check it out. So now this is with frame generation. We finally can see how it runs with frame generation. So this is a 4080 with frame gener without frame generation. I, I don't remember if I turned frame generation on. There's a 4080 with DLSS. Did we turn frame generation on or no? Frame generation is not on. This is DLSS. Oh, yeah, that's a big difference. Okay, so there's that. Let's jump into, let's jump down to the planet. Look at that, 150, 160. No frame generation. Okay, let's just, I just wanna see, let's turn it on. Okay, it got worse. What? So frame generation made it worse. It's like the same. Okay, so here's my here's my thing. Don't turn on frame generation <laughs> to do anything. Not really, you got like six more frames. Yeah, let's go to, we'll go down to quality, whoops. So you could actually, I mean, like you really could go, I mean, you could instead of, I mean, this one. That's quality. Hundred and forty frames per second. 1440p, this could run 4K, this could run 4K um, Starfield. Well, let's just test it. Okay, so now we're at 14, we are at 4K. No, it's not, okay. Well, let's just do this, hold on. I just wanna see what, what the frame rate would be like at 4K. And then we'll call it.
So I'm wondering if you could do 4K, whoops. What if you could do 4K Starfield with a 4080? So everything is at ultra. We're going to set DLSS to quality. Frame generation's off. Okay, here we go. This is 4K. This is 4K DLSS at DLSS on quality. This isn't even on performance. That's actually pretty cool. That's actually really good. So they've definitely done some improvements with NVIDIA's. NVIDIA runs way better on Starfield now than it did. Okay, so let's just check native. This is native 4K. So that's native 4K with a 4080. Okay, well there you go guys. So that was Starfield and a Cyberpunk. With um, this brand new game, with uh, this brand new build. Okay, guys, well, let's do our last one. Exclamation point new egg now. Exclamation point new egg now. $50 new egg gift card up for grabs. Starting that giveaway right now. $50 new egg gift card up for grabs. Right there. Two minutes, guys. Okay, so what's happening for the rest of the week? We are back tomorrow. We are gonna be playing, checking out the new map from PUBG Condo. So we're gonna be playing that tomorrow starting at 1 p.m. Pacific time. We're gonna be playing from 1 to about 2.30. At 2.30, we're gonna be jumping over and checking out the Deep Cool CH560 in white, the digital edition. We're gonna be doing a build with a 14600K and a 4070 Ti. Uh, just playing around another good 1440p build, um, which should be a lot of fun. Coming in at a, just, uh, what, just over $2,000. So it should be a nice, fun, very attractive build so it should be one of those beautiful showcase builds so that's gonna be happening tomorrow and then I jump on a plane head into the game awards and then I will be back on Friday for the Intel gaming show we have a uh, we're gonna be playing some Lego Fortnite uh, with Alex and the team so that should be a lot of fun um, you're gonna definitely want to tune in for that uh, plus we're gonna be talking about some of the builds we've done uh, as well as I you know I don't know what else is happening but it should be cool we'll probably be talking about one of these cases um, and uh, maybe doing some uh, some playing around with the 14.6 or something like that. So that's gonna be on Friday, uh, and then no streams until Tuesday next week. We're gonna be building uh, one of the, uh, building a um, awesome uh, Lee and Lee, um, Lee and Lee commission build. Uh, and then I think we also have, I forgot what the other build, we have another build. Oh, and that's right. And then you're definitely gonna wanna tune in uh, Wednesday of the next week because we're going to be doing the Starfield giveaway PC. So we're going to be building a PC in the NZXT Starfield PC with the custom GPU and CPU, and we're going to be giving that away. So that's going to be happening uh, on uh, Tuesday, of, uh, sorry, on Wednesday of next week. And then Thursday we fly out to uh, we th fly out to Atlanta. So that is kind of the rest of the week for you. And we're going to be giving that one away on stream. So we'll be giving, I think we're going to give it that away on stream. I'll, I will confirm. I will know more next week. So that's going to be super, super awesome if you want to tune that. And then I'm going to go and touch the propellers on the on the plane. Yes, for sure. Congratulations to Mark H in North Carolina. I'm Or yeah, that should be, uh, that'll be uh, congratulations on that. So anyway, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the show. We will see you tomorrow, one o'clock, playing some PUBG. Uh, and then uh, building in the Deep Cool CH560 should be a really good show. And then I will be doing lots of uh, posting and stuff like that. 
uh, from uh, down in uh, Los Angeles where we'll be ha attending the Game Awards, um, which should be a lot of fun as well. Anyway, guys, we'll see you guys tomorrow and we'll see you later. Bye, guys. Thank you.